So, welcome everyone to my first session here for Extra Life Tabletop Weekend. Uh, great uh, event and cause here that I've, I've uh, looked forward to um, getting involved in. Uh, so we're raising money for um, Children's uh, Miracle Network Hospitals, my local one here in town being uh, Helen DeVos. Uh, so looking forward to that. We've already hit $100 uh, of my $500 goal. Uh, hopefully we can get closer to that. Uh, but yeah, so today we're going to play a Wise Guys uh, with these bunch of wise guys here. Uh, hey. A great uh, you know, organized crime setting for the Savage Worlds system, uh, which Savage, Savage Worlds is a great, uh, great system as well. So... Yeah, real quick, I guess. Uh, so let's uh, just, you know, if you want to introduce your character real quick, um, who you're playing, and, uh, you know, maybe if you have anything about them to tell. Uh, Tommy, start with you. All right. I, uh, I'm Tommy Blue. I grew up in Brooklyn, um, made my way up from Shoe Shine and the Maid Men, and uh, after 20 years on the streets, I became one of them myself. Eh. I'm one of the best house burglars in the city, but you didn't hear that from me. Moved out to Vegas to lose some uh, some heat that uh, I was taking back in back in New York. Um, something about me, the, the cops always, uh, whenever something goes wrong, cops always show up in my house. I got donuts in the parlor just for them. Never been pinched. I've been pinched, but uh, they don't have anything on me. Very good, Tommy. Welcome, welcome. Next is uh, Lucian Cross. Oh, uh, hey there. I'm uh, I'm Lucian. I'm a uh, bit of a gambler myself. It's uh, it's a tough tough life on the streets, but we got uh, my my pappy. He always uh always taught me how to pick a winning horse. But you know what? He didn't know that much. He's been uh, he's been missing for a while now. Some guys in suits. They uh, they they take they take him away. But you know what? Out here in Vegas, that all comes in handy. All that information. Welcome, Lucian. Next is the amazing Linda. All right. My dad, he was a doctor and wanted me to follow in his footsteps, but uh, I wanted to do magic and illusion. But that didn't have much way with him, so I had to do a little bit of internships, learn how crime and things were investigated and uh, kind of use that to my aid with my magic tricks and as I kept pursuing that daddy didn't like that too much and put me out on my own and moved over to Vegas and now I've got my own little corner go out to shows and kind of got some pills but we're all right with that because uh I got my pet snake Aspie with me you can keep that pet to yourself you don't you worry about my pet and finally, Winston Brown. Hey, uh, Winston Brown's the uh, greatest Elvis impersonator ever to live. I uh, spend my days out on the strip taking photos with all the uh, tourists that come through because they want a picture with the king. And when they turn their back, I stick my hand in and I swap their wallets. That uh, drew the attention, unfortunately, of some of the, uh, the local mobsters. So uh, they gave me a choice to join a, a crew or pay a tax. Well, the king uh, don't pay no tax to anybody. So he's working with his crew and trying to make a big score when I'm not out on the strip, being the greatest Elvis impersonator you've ever seen. Fantastic. Yes, all around, everybody. Round of applause. Uh, so, uh, oh, and you gotta get your character, uh, there you go, okay. Yeah. 
So, uh, I am your Don for today's session, Don Moonbounce. I will be guiding you along in this story of, of crime and deceit and danger. It all began with a tip at a valuable cargo practically waiting to be hijacked. Truck driver had fallen on hard times and was willing to relinquish its content to Mario Zella, a wise guy under Looney John's wing for a bunch of crackers. You also work for Looney John, a mafia copper regime. Over here, he's known as Soup. Legend has it that one time one of his soldiers handed him his kick up money in a manila envelope as Looney was cooking dinner. Nah, Luna John had specifically asked for white letter envelopes because they fit perfectly in the lining of his vest. Rumor has it, Angry Capo grabbed the closest thing to him, which happened to be a can of soup, and beat the cafone within an inch of his life. This is the type of guy you're dealing with here. Luna John recruited you to assist Mario in the hijacking. Mario drive the truck while you follow in a car provided by Looney John to make sure nothing happened to the swag box. Thing is, it all went downhill when you reached the warehouse you were supposed to bring your haul to. Las Vegas Metro police cars came out of nowhere and verged on the location with sirens on. Some might say it was as if they were waiting for the delivery. With the turn of the wheel and the pedal to the metal, you speed off into the night in the boss's Cadillac. Tires screeching, engine warring, pursued by two patrol cars. So, we get right into it with a chase, which is a lot of fun here in our game. All right, so let me... Let's get our chase board up here first. Pull and draw. Uh, I just place you guys in positions on the cars if you want to change that. Uh, somebody who wants to drive. Does anyone um, actually have the driving skill? <laughs> did not look like anyone did. Nope. Awesome. No. All right. I'll, I'll keep driving then. If, okay. If, if, if no one else wants to. That's going to be a problem. Yeah. All right. Like we've been anywhere without fights. So keep them blue suede shoes uh, on that gas pedal there, Tommy. It's, uh, they're, they're not, uh, never mind. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So these are essentially the game board, uh, the, the path that we will be going for the base. You guys will all act on the same turn for your vehicle. Uh, so you can kind of go whenever you want if you need to support one of your uh, other. Um, so it's a group turn. And then the patrol cars will have their own turn as well. Uh, if you are ever on, and it looks like we have uh, two initial positions here. Uh, if you're ever on a club, if your card has clubs in it, that is a complication. And you must deal with that. So... Uh, we'll get to that here in a second when we get to initiative set up. <coughs> Ours in. And let's uh, deal up first round. Ooh, we have a red joker for the one of the police cars. That means I get a Benny. All right. Oh, uh, they are two two cards back, two positions back. Um, you guys either need to uh, escape, which you can do at attempt at uh, four or five cards away. You get f uh, five cards away, uh, or if you get caught by the cops, uh, would be another outcome, obviously. Or 
Uh, if you escape, actually, you can escape prior to that. Um, I think chase rules are probably in the compendium here. You guys can look up as well. Flee at a... You gotta have four, at least four chase cards between each other. If you go five rounds without being caught, you would get away as well. So, uh, And then lastly, of course, if the cops catch up to you. All right, first uh, round here. Uh, the police car is going, they're just gonna pursue and, and go after you. So they're gonna take the, well, the driver is going to take the chains position uh, and as an action, you can do this either as a free action or an action. If you do it as an action, you get a plus two bonus. Uh, to that so the uh, that officer is going to do that they also gain a plus one bonus because their patrol cars are a little bit faster than yours so they have a nice uh plus three here to that attempt and he will go ahead and do that with a driving roll and what a way to start oh, with a excellent. critical fail okay um yeah. Let's see here. That's what you like to see. These cops think they're hot shit. They ain't got nothing on us. <laughs> Actually, they do have... Uh, they're on a club as well, and they need to do the... Um, the thing as well. Where the crit fail? I thought there was like a crit fail. Okay, um, there's your minus two, another crit fail. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'll just get another card out here. He, uh, something happened. He went to hit the gas, uh, and, and try and launch, uh, forward, but, uh, it, it swerved the car out of the way and he, uh, hit the side of a building or just kind of got caught in the way, um, blew past the turn and he actually ends up falling back a, uh, um, Falling back, so we'll put him back uh, around from that horrible crit fail. Uh, and then the other guy in there is uh, he's super far away, uh, but he's gonna attempt to take a shot uh, just at your guys' vehicle. That is going to be at a minus two because of the distance. Well, actually, I think. All right, well, that's a hit against the vehicle, but the vehicle... Do you guys all have access to the vehicle sheet, by the way? Double-click the car on the... Uh, I don't. Okay, nope. let me... Uh, I don't know if I... Well, might not be... Okay, try now. Yep. Okay, cool. So the, the key things, you guys have five wounds, um, and then your toughness there is 12. Oh. There it is. Not bad, but uh, unfortunately doesn't get through. I, you guys hear the bullet uh, head off the car. Just kind of goes through some paneling. Doesn't really do any damage to the vehicle, but uh, you see that uh, it's come across. That is their turn. Uh, we go to you guys. So, as you like. Are we on a? We're on a club, right? You are. Yes. Yeah. So you need to make a um, a maneuvering roll, which for this is driving, uh, given that's what we're doing here. So, give a. Give me a driving roll. Okay. It's going to be untrained. untrained. Yes. Yep. That, does, that ha does that happen right away before we can do like yes. any uh, support or anything? Okay. Yep. Not bad. Hmm. Not good though. Do I try to Benny it? No, I mean, I'd have to roll a six on the wild die to pass. Um, yeah. so you know what? It doesn't say, like, right away. So to your point, uh, Winston, um, I'll, I'll allow a support here. So, 
I mean, you're still, you'd have to get a pretty good support. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a, a standard support's not really going to do anything. So, I guess, uh, would you, um, yeah, would you consider a Benny on that, Tommy, or not? Uh, it's tough. Because, yeah, I'd have to get a six on the wild die. As a support. A support with a raise will wipe out that, so then it would be a straight roll. So it's just kind of, I guess, would anybody consider supporting the driving? And that would be your your action on the turn. Um, yeah. Uh, Lucian's gonna try and offer directions. So uh, what I'll do, uh, Tommy, is um, because he would have done this beforehand. And then so you're sure. not automatically spending your Benny. So, Lucian, go ahead. Uh, okay, so go give me a um, an argument for a skill as I look them up as well to see. It's a common knowledge of the uh, of yeah particular streetways. Yeah, that works. I got a ten on that thing? Damn. Yeah, I do. Let her rip. All right. Nice. Hey. Okay, so there we go. That's plus two to your roll. So you you so negate. Been a... um, so now you're at three and three on the rolls. Uh, okay. So if you want to spend that Benny, basically yeah. it's straight roll. <sighs> ah! Come on. All righty. Well, it was worth the try. Uh, yeah. Lucian trying to help you out there, but uh, it's just. Uh, you're pretty focused on the task and maybe a little distracted. So with that failure, okay, I, I know I know my roads pretty well. Uh, my driving's not so hot. Well, what happens? Action card. Oh wait, if a character group's action card. Oh, I did that wrong. The action card. <laughs> okay, we gotta take all that back. Sorry. Ah, ah, the action oh, the action card the action card determines if you have a complication and then the chase oh. card the chase card determines a modifier if uh if it applies. So like you guys would have um being on the club that gives you a minus 2 and you treat it as uh if you fail then you treat a critical failure on the maneuvering roll. So okay. So let me give you your Benny back and um Okay, so sorry, we're square one. Uh, first chase here. We'll figure it out. I'll leave the cops. He still crit failed though, so that's fine. Um, okay, so back to you guys. Uh, before Tommy probably advances, uh, anything else you want to do? And actually, if you want to keep that Lucy in that support role, Tommy, that can be for your uh, regular. Okay. And we'll we'll re redo that. Give you one more chance okay. on that. But cool. Thank yeah. you. That's cool. mostly what I'm good for. So <laughs> in, in this in this particular engagement Winston and uh, Linda doing anything oh is it our turn now yeah officially? yep oh, okay I'm uh <laughs> Winston's going to lean out the uh, the passenger window of uh, his car and just yell back at the police y'all ain't nothing but a bunch of hound dogs you'll never catch us is that a taunt it's a taunt yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So probably the ones closest to you, going after them. Um, and spe specifically driver or, pa or the co-pilot. Uh, I guess the driver seems like the one I would want to. Okay. If I can choose, so here's my yeah. taunt. So go ahead and give me your taunt roll. All right, and I have an edge. It helps with this too, so we'll see how it goes. Okay. Ooh, look at them shinies. All right. Oh, the gold. Oh, the best zero. gold. Whoops, that's not supposed to be a thing. Okay, so uh, do you add anything to that, Winston? This character successfully tests the foe. Him, uh, nobody's probably distracted or vulnerable from any of our allies, right? Nobody is yet. No. Okay. 
then nothing uh, nothing happens extra with my edge. Okay. So 10 is the target number. I will roll his and against taunt that I fear, uh, Test is... Smarts. Wah, wah. All right. So, uh, what is your... Uh, what's your effect that you're going to apply? I think you get a choice, don't you? Um, it's between what? Distracted or vulnerable? I believe so, yeah. I'm going to distract them, uh, them coppers. Okay. Ah, uh, don't do that to everybody. Okay, so he is distracted. That is minus two to all his rolls for the turn. Uh, Linda, anything? How many uses do I get when I press the digitation kit? Uh, it's more going to be a... It's probably mostly going to be a performance roll. Performance roll, okay. Yeah, so kind of come up with, you know, what you want to do, and then and we'll see uh, how that works. We're not... There's not, like, any, like people on the streets near us or anything like that it's probably kind of more like highway chase where we're isolated yeah or industrial area i'd say sure. is you okay. guys because you you went to a warehouse and now you're you're trying to get to your hideout as well okay for now i will hunker down in the back and just be like let me get us out of here they're, t they're starting to shoot at us and i ain't trying to get blood on my dress sure Okay. So what you doing with that? No, no, actually, just, just a verbal cover. So. What's that? It's not. I'm not doing it as an action. I'm just doing it as talking in the sense. I'm not doing any actual. You're not using it. A uh, kit? No, no. Okay. Do you have any other action that you're doing? No, just that. Yep. Okay. Um. Okay, so... so... What do I get because of that, uh... You get a plus two on your... Plus two. Uh, okay, Online. and now, coming to you... Um, are you gonna do a drive... Are you gonna flee as an action? Not flee, but move um, as an action? Because you get a plus two on that as well. Yeah. Or it's yeah, a free the... action, you can do something else as well. No, I'll just drive. Okay. So you'll have a plus four to the roll. Right. That's already a success. Well, no, it's not. No, necessary. it's not. Because you have a minus two still, but. <laughs> yep. Um, definitely helps. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. There, there we go. go. Hey. 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 There we nice. go. There it is. Awesome. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so with the uh, with the raise, you get up to two uh, two positions. Yeah, we're getting out of here. So looking pretty good. I was going to yell at you for backseat driving, Lucian, but nice directions. <laughs> I know my way around. A little too well. <laughs> all righty. That is you all's turn. And we go to the other police car. And they are going to uh, just attempt to catch up to you guys. Uh, this one is distracted, though, so he will have that penalty. And they do get the uh, bonuses, though. And I'll offset that. Ooh, man. Okay, so they are not able to advance. They don't go anywhere on a failure. Uh, the other cop is, uh, yeah, I'm gonna Benny that one. Actually, I'm gonna have the other cop uh, give support in direction uh, with a notice. I think he's, he's not supposed to. So. 
with uh, plus one. Fail. Roll that. And yes, it would be a success. So they advance one. Uh, they, they get they catch up a little bit. So I get closer to you. That is first round. Next round. All right. You guys now have a club with your action cards, so there will be a complications. Police car is up. They are going to uh, kind of do a lot of the same and try and catch up. Support from counterpart. Not uh, going so well. The distraction is frustrating. Everybody. Oh, that's going to be gone, actually. But the other one will drive. That's it. All right, got a raise. So they make up some ground. They catch up to where this other one was. Couple, couple positions away from you. You guys are now up. All right, top of the round, a complication. Uh, before you deal with that, uh, somebody can support if they want. Yeah, I'll do a support. Okay, uh, kind of describe how you're supporting uh, Tommy as he's driving. Well, I... Uh lean forward and uh, Aspie's kind of sliding down my shoulder and as I put my hand up uh, on the seat behind Tommy and say all right we gotta start making our moves and get away here Aspie kind of sits there and slithers a little bit and just kind of gives his little verbal support for Tommy as well as a little bit of encouragement friendly encouragement encouragement and or the sooner Tommy <laughs> yeah the sooner Tommy gets the hell out of this car gets away from the snake, away from the snake. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hey, yeah, so, keep that thing in the back seat. <laughs> give me, uh, give me persuasion. All right, Linda. Ooh. Okay. Gonna re-roll that or good with it? Uh, yeah, we'll we'll do a re-roll. Okay. So just hit the Benny in the chat card there, little poker chip icon. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There it goes. Okay, did change. Yep. Kind of kicked around. All right, so that's at least a plus one to uh, Tommy for um, an extra for the complication we got to do. Uh, any other support, or are we good? Um, I'll continue supporting. Okay. Um, you can do that on either the complication here, or you can wait on the regular move. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do it on the complication. Yeah, Razor. I think failing that is gonna be worse, worse than worse. Yeah. Okay. And being on a spade, uh, there's no modifier to the roll. Um, but if you fail, you treat uh, critical failure on the maneuvering roll. Hmm. So, uh, Lucian, go ahead and give me your support. All right, now take a left. Take left, left. Okay, that's a success. So plus two for your maneuvering roll here. All right. Untrained driving roll. Here we go. Ooh, there we go. There it is. That it? Good. You're good. Uh, that is a success. So you avoid the complications as uh, you cut through some alleys and they get tight and it's uh, tough to maneuver around, but you're able to do so. All the while cursing that uh, a dead Mario got away and should have been the one dealing with this. All right, uh, back to everyone. Uh, well, other than Linda and Lucian, uh, Winston and Tommy, you have your regular actions. I will continue to drive as my regular action. I want that plus two. Winston? Hmm. Winston, um, Winston's gonna pull the, uh, his, uh, his scarf 
it was very it was red scarf off from his uh, his costume that he wears. He's gonna say, uh, "All right, let's see if this works." He's gonna throw it out the window, and hopefully it can fly back and distract the uh, the police with the uh, with the flamboyant red silk scarf fluttering back towards them in the wind. Okay, are you like letting it go towards them? Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. I have no idea what kind of role that would be. <laughs> um. Yeah. Like. I mean, probably like a. Treat it like a throwing or athletics. Like I'm trying to like. Yeah. yeah that toss or. It the right way or... or... There's so, not a luck, there's not a luck skill, is there? No. Performance would be the next best. I was yeah. going to say, yeah. I was going to go performance, and it's kind of, you know, how well you throw that out there. So that one's definitely a little better than your other one. So I'll let you go right. performance on that. All right, yeah, the, the king is thrown a so you're, souvenir out to the crowd. You're doing this essentially as a test, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, seven is our target number. And against what is the skill associated with performance? Spirit? Okay. Spirit. Uh, yeah. Oh, spirit roll against the driver. Uh north or south patrol car that you're going after? Um top or bottom. Oh, I guess I guess I know it's one like more directly behind us, and they both kind They're of both the same. they're both in the same position. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll just I'll say the the bottom one. Okay. Then. Spirit. That is a fail. Okay, so uh, two from seven is five. That is a raise, or no, it's not a raise. No, it's just it's I think just, it's just straight because you would have to get yeah. have to get eight, right? Eight different four, four over. Yeah, there have yeah. to be eight difference. Okay. All right. Uh, so that is, and then you're distracting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then I'm still driving. That's a plus two for an action, right? Yes. And you get... Nope. Yeah, yep. Just that. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Nice. All right. So you can move forward one... One group. Or one position. Continue on, making your way. You guys are at, you got three between you. So, uh, I've, you know, have a good round next round. You might be able to work on uh, fleeing away and get out of here. Yep. The next police car is up and they're going to do a lot of the same. Just uh, support to try and move along here. And they will gain that. So, going to have a plus four. On his. Oh, but they are distract, distracted. So that'll be a minus two. So net plus two. All right. Well, a good roll there as they uh, make some ground, getting closer to you guys. And that is their turn. Come to round three. It's just uh, the cards aren't with you guys today. Uh, no, if anybody not. wants, you guys are up against an ace and a nine. But um, if anyone from the group wants to spend a Benny to get a new action card, uh, you can do that as well. So, Yeah, I'll throw one out. Okay. So let me... It's going to be tough to... Yeah. Uh, do you get to choose when you do that, I think? Um, do you know if you... I forget no, if you... I have no idea. Uh, let me look. I feel like a lot of times it is like you still get the choice, but... Cards... Ah, uh, this occurs, blah, blah, blah. Then 
They spend bounties for an additional card as many times as they like. Take the choice of all cards okay. drawn. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, a five of clubs was drawn. So I would assume you don't want that, mostly given no, the clubs. Because it's no, a it's, minus two. Yeah. That sucks. Okay. So, we'll just leave you on the four of hearts. Still worth the attempt. Uh, police are up. And they're going to do much of the same. Driving. Notice roll for support. That'll be a fail. Yeah, just just succeed advancing forward one position in the back in behind you can hear them trying to approach the next squad car is up unfortunately and they hit a complication oh no did I, did I do that out of order I did yeah okay um so that one all right they would have advanced this one would have been back so no complication, but yeah. Uh, well, they have, they because it's their action. Oh card. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. their action card. And that's so right. So they that's still right. have that. Yep. So he's gonna go ahead and um, give me that first. Uh, and that's a heart. Ooh. <clears throat> okay no modifier but here's a good one uh they are bumped with a failure and so bump means they are bumped back well they lose a position yeah all right we get to you guys for bottom of round three I mean, I'm just going to keep driving. Got to get out of here. All right. Uh, the rest of you? I'll get you, do have a, you do have a patrol car that is only one position back, so they are Maybe you guys um, closing in on back. range and getting after you. Yeah, what's the range consider at this? I believe it's um, ranged attacks. It is... Not counting the attacker's card, uh, number of cards between participants. So, uh, no, this one, no penalty. Okay. Uh, but you are moving in a car, so that's a minus two there. There's a minus two unstable platform. Um, so you'd have that. And then if you're, if you're shooting at one of the cops, there'll be a cover penalty. Or if you're just going to try and shoot at the car. The car, yeah. Uh, you can... Yeah, you could also attempt to shoot at like a, a specific a, um, part of the car. Winston, yes, spamming. Whoops. Guns. Hit the wrong button there. So, uh, yeah, I guess, Linda, what are you aiming after? Uh, shoot some tires. Yeah, trying to see if we can lean out and I'm in the back seat here. So, lean back and see if Aspie can help. Guide my hand, and we'll take that shot and see if we get a little bit better accuracy or not. And what are you shooting after? The uh, tire of the car. Okay, so for Aspie, okay. give me a um, a sleight of hand, sleight of body, or like uh, yeah. Um, it. I, uh, I can, yeah, he can do a. This is more of just assisting me. Right, right. I would, yeah. Um, I'm gonna say agility on this one because he's kind of. I'm gonna say, you know, he, he kind of comes around your arm and and holds you steady. Uh, you see him wrap around the arm and part of him on the to hold you. So it's gonna be how um how much he can hold that steady. So roll agility from him. All right, that is a success, so you get a plus one uh, to yours. So, 
uh, as you lean out and you aim for so aiming for that tire is going to be a called shot uh, and I'm gonna say that's at a I'll give you a I'll be nice and give you only a minus two on that so you're at a minus four total plus one so you'd be at a minus three on your modifier there above the chat uh, in the trait roll section do minus one minus two see that to add that on there when you make your and then hit your gun do your shooting roll I think you can do and you might as well in this situation too um, like reckless attack or whatever it's called not reckless it's like um, it's on the Bound and wild attack. Um, a wild attack adds plus two. Oh wait, that's for fighting. Yeah, I, was say, I don't. It's not shooting. Was... Yeah, I thought there was one that was kind of did that for that, but I guess not. So, all right. Well, that's what you're at. Roll that with uh, minus three. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be tough. You're gonna have to get a raise out of that to go forward. You wanna give it another go with a, a Benny? Oh, oh, come on. No Good better. Over. No better. Okay. So you go and lean out, try to take that shot, but it just goes wide, uh, and you do not do not connect. Unfortunately, it's just too challenging. All right. Winston and Lucian, what are you up to at this time? Uh, Lucian is gonna try and give a buddy a call, see if he can maybe cause a distraction. Okay. What year is it? Can you call someone? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it's not that late. Hey, listen, I'm elderly. <laughs> I still call. We're. What year is it though? Is it? Or do we have cell phones? Yeah, yeah I it's this is a, more modern. Yeah, is it's it more, it's a little more modern? modern. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. I'd say like. Two thousand six. Yeah. Right. I thought oh, it. I thought it got said, a Nokia. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so give me a. Um, give me a. Right, so are you gonna? Are you doing this as a test against the? Uh, the, the police to distract them? Uh, yeah. That, w that would be probably how, how you'd utilize that. Yeah. Okay. So give me a, um, a networking role. Ooh. But I would say that, unless, unless you got something else in mind. Could I convince you for persuasion? Yes. You like, call your buddy. Man. He says, oh, "Listen, I'll owe you a favor." I'll I had, I'm dealing with those cops getting involved in this. Yeah, networking's not a skill. Oh, you're right. It's, yeah, it, it, networking's like the overarching. Yeah, concept. it's intimidation or persuasion, basically. Okay. So you twist his arm. He says, "Oh, actually, in that case, I think with Streetwise, you get you get a plus two. Plus two. Okay, so that's a raise. All right." So, I uh, twist his arm. He says, "Well, this one time, but like I said, like you said, you owe me." He uh, comes out. I appreciate out. it. He will. Uh, he will. In fact, uh, you guys are continuing on, and you just see that uh, a giant uh, dumpster kind of rolls behind the alley that you are, are rushing down, and causes uh, distraction to the cop. So the cop behind you is going to be distracted. Uh, for the, his next goals. Uh, I think, uh, Winston, anything for you? Um, so, Lucian just did some sort of, like, distraction type thing on the one? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, probably won't work out real well, but I'll go ahead and take a shot at the, uh, one of the car tires. 
Okay. So that's going to be, uh, you know, minus four given everything. Unless you have uh, anything else to help with that, but no. I uh, grab your on your sheet on the front of your sheet. Click the word Glock. That's what you want. Oh, that's right. And you can also use the token HUD up top. For some reason the roll button doesn't want to let me do anything. That's weird. Uh. If you have to click on the little button icon, I feel like when I did that, it did something. Oh, dude. That was Go. me. Oh, okay. Let me. I think we did. Just... Do a quick refresh. Okay. I think you've dealt with this before. I don't know. If it's just. Yeah. <clears throat> there it goes. Okay. Uh, decent rolls, but unfortunately it is just a tough situation, and uh, your shot goes just wide of the pursuing police officers. Good there, you're not gonna do any of that? Um, no, I was gonna be, it was a long shot anyway. Okay. <laughs> minus four for the D6. Alright, over to you, Tommy, in the driver's seat. Alright, so I'm doing it as an action, so I get a plus two, right? Yes. All right, come on. Nice. Hey. That's what you wanted for sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so. I think I'm getting the hang of this. At least we're not in a car chase in New York. Yeah. <laughs> Be going a lot slower. A lot more horn. All right, that gives you up two spots. You get away, uh, almost get away again. We have to bring out some new cards here in a second. And uh, that should be your full turn, I believe, everybody. I believe so. Is that, how many How many rounds have we spent evading them? Is it three at this point? Yes, we're coming up to round four right now. Okay, all right, and so, we have to do five to get away, right? Yeah, either, yeah. Either if you five get your or distance, succeed on the flea. Yeah, and you have okay. to have um it says four cards in between four you. cards but that's at a minus four if there's five it's a minus two and yeah. if there's six or more it's zero mm -hmm. definitely don't want a minus four with my shitty ass driving <laughs> skills true, yeah. <laughs> it was funny when i was setting this up i'm like no one has driving wow <laughs> i guess it because in general like you don't really it probably wouldn't have a minus two if you're just driving but in yeah, a situation I, like this obviously yeah. it's all right, round four. There we go. You guys finally get up to the top. Token thing won't. There we go. Finally. All right. So you guys are up. You definitely have some distance from your uh, closest pursuer. What is your move? Help your driver if you want. Yeah, I'm going to give him an assist. Okay. Uh, so how are you going to do that again? Um, so I potentially know the streets pretty well. So if we turn, if we turn right at the next junction, there should be a uh i know i know there there's a red light there that boy it gets backed up with walkers all the time uh so we can potentially see if that that'll uh play out um make an argument for gambling there to take a gamble on that yeah yeah All right, that's one. That's a success. So plus one at least. Linda and Winston. 
I'm just gonna lean forward one more time and give him a little persuasion of assistance here with SB and say, we ain't hitting our shots. We gotta get out of here and go. Linda, give me a notice roll real quick. Straight. Okay. And Winston. Um, yeah, Winston's, uh, yeah, it, since it went well previously, he's going to uh, yell back at that uh, closest car and uh, say, hey, hey now, don't be cruel, baby. Leave the king alone. Another uh, taunt? Another taunt to try and distract them. Okay. Uh, given their distance, uh, I'm going to give you a minus two on this because you're, uh, you guys are growing in distance, so you kind of really have to yell back and, and hope that that reaches them. But Bill can go for that. Use your diaphragm. I think if I click. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, shame. That is, uh, that's still, I mean, that's the target number. So I think, I, mean, I guess unless he critical fails. So uh, in combination of the distance and whatnot, the, the police officer is focused. Uh, you're unfortunately not able to Cause any distraction to that. Um, Linda was trying to. And then I passed with that. Sorry. Um, Part that you had. You were gonna. Okay, I was. Um, I was having you look about to, to do something else with your action. What was your intent? Just kind of supporting the driver. The driving, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. What? Uh, just kind of. You, you want to go persuade? Yeah, give me persuasion yeah, for that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Right. So plus two there. So uh, plus four. Your Wait, driving roll. It, it was. Is it? Because I got plus one from Lucian. One from Linda. And, and then you get Linda's the two ones. as an Oh, action. and then I get that. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the jackard. <clears throat> and two. Come on. Ah. Uh, it's still a success. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. But with a plus four, I almost want to try to do better. Can you choose if you use a Benny? Can you choose between them? I think generally I say yeah. I, I think, like, it's a gray area in the rule, but... Um... I really want to get a raise. I'm gonna try it. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, that, that, yes. Good call. Good call. Okay. Three, four, five. Nice. There we go. Okay. Now they get to go, but let's hope they don't yep. catch up very far. <laughs> All right. So they are up. They are doing their same. Calling out notice. Passenger seats uh, will do so to give the other officer. Good chance to get through here. They do move forward. One square. Other squad. There. And All right, they make some ground, but still quite a ways away. All right, round five. Survive this, and you guys get away. End of the round. Um, be tough to, to match that, but does anyone want to try and grab a better card? Not on that. I'll pass. Yeah, not okay. with the king and the queen. All right. Uh, one of the cars does have a complication coming up, though. So, uh, first police car is up. They will just continue... Trying to make up ground. These guys have moved three, <laughs> three cards forward the entire time. Uh, oh, I forgot to add bonuses to that, and that would have been uh, plus five. So that yeah, they they catch up. Well, they get two uh, two movements forward. The next car is up or with the complication first. 
And they're on a diamond. Minus two. Oh, success. Okay. But they are able to avoid the complication there as the road gets tight and windy. Uh, and then go for their turn proper. No support uh, from shotgun. And they do not uh, get anywhere. They unfortunately don't move around. So you guys are up. Aren't they bumped on a fit? Oh, no, that's on the complication. Never mind. Yeah, never mind, yep. Never they survived that. Um, yeah. Okay. So we've made it. We're, we're, we're basically scot free at this yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. Just pull away. I guess barring a, barring a failure, but that's uh, true. I think you'll that's be, true. I think you'll be fine. So. I'm going to drive as an action. Okay. Got to get the hell out of here finally lost them almost um anything else from the rest of you guys yeah I might uh, as well assist okay it's like, just keep going straight should be out of the clear should be a uh, should be out of the forest Give me a, uh, give me a, give me a persuasion on oh, that. Sure. Seen, yeah, sure for thing. that one. Oof. Tommy's a little focused, not really paying attention to everyone buzzing in his ear. He just wants to get out of here and get yeah, away from yeah, that, yeah. get away from that you damn gotta... snake. No, I, all right, whatever. <laughs> I know yeah. where I'm going. Anyone else? I think we're good. Let Tommy do his thing. Okay. Yeah. No, I was gonna. Uh, yeah. This is going to uh, try and persuade Tommy to uh, really, you know, really just just floor it. You got this. You uh, you got this, Tommy. Just uh, put that pedal to the metal. And we'll be out of here in uh, two shakes. Give me a persuasion. Two shakes of what? Oh. Ooh, whatever right. you want. Holy shit. Fucking Travis. Here he, oh, here he, fucking here he goes his... again. <laughs> Jesus, every time. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, uh, yeah, plus two. So at, uh, and you have, so you're at a plus 40 year roll there, Tommy. All right. He's just like, All right, Elvis. All right. Let's get out of here. There you go. Spread the love. Okay. Go. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. So you guys uh, more than get away here, cut into some back alleys uh, and lose the cops. The sirens behind you fade in the distance and uh, you pull into your hideout, uh, hauling in uh, to collect your, your breath and whatnot as we uh, so good stuff. All right, where the fuck is Mario? So, you all come back to your hideout. What is your hideout? Tell me uh, where that is. Is it another warehouse, back of a restaurant, perhaps? Uh, go ahead and explain to me what that looks like. <clears throat> the, uh, I mean, if no one else has an opinion, I'd say it's uh, uh, an old... An old... Uh, bar out front and then uh used to be the uh, billiards room in the back is now our uh little hidey hole yeah i'd say it's got that it's got a um small performance stage for live music or performances so me and winston can get our extra money in from doing any acts that we need to do sounds good uh, let I know you just want my pizza, but go away. <laughs> Can't do that. We're on stream. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want these to be face down. So
think. Oh, that's what I want. You guys can't see these cards, right? No. Yeah. No. Okay. You can see these, yes? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Tommy, um, I don't know if you can interact with those. Uh, I cannot. Okay, so just tell me uh, which card you would like to pick. Oh... Take the one on the right hand. All right. All right. Okay. Hearts. Mm. As you get back to your hideout here, catching your breath, coming down from the excitement of, of the events and whatnot, something in that, uh, in all the excitement, reminded you. Um, just that adrenaline pumping uh, adventure there. Tell us how, tell us one of the hardships during the heist uh, that you dealt with um, and that the party endured, how you overcame that. Oh, uh, like during the, during the truck jacking just now? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, as we were, as we were waiting to, for the, uh, truck to come up the road a uh i assume we were outside of town for the for the initial truck jacking and uh there was a highway patrolman that got a little curious um he luckily didn't recognize me as most cops tend to do um but he came over asked us why we were uh sitting there and accused us of loitering um uh scared him off by uh, uh what was the question is it is it uh this one uh, was a hardship something you dealt with during that okay. heist and i uh got him to run off by uh letting him know about a little uh just a little uh amateur drug ring out of a gas station a few miles back um he took off running for a promotion and uh left us alone you guys all remember that situation and glad that uh tommy you know maybe has a little decent way with words at times to take care of that so uh, Benny for your participation there Thank Tommy uh, Lucian of the remaining cards which one would you like uh, left middle uh, the middle here yeah okay a club Something during the heist or the or afterwards um, really puts you off. Uh, you, you've kind of been frustrated. You're brooding about this a little bit. Uh, maybe gone over to spot in in the bar that you hang out by yourself a little bit. Uh, what happened and and what, uh, what what's frustrating you about a lot of things right now? Well, see, uh, Tommy's pretty rash. And so, uh, him and his bravado, there are just, there are so many times when we were, we were that close. 
being unnoticed, but I just keep thinking that, you know, a bunch of civvies kept, kept spotting us. And, you know, his, he's, uh, he's got heart. But you know what? He doesn't, he doesn't have smart. And that's, ah. that's an, that's an issue on the team. If you're, if you're, if you're on your own, that's totally fine with me. But, you know, when you put other people on the line like that, What, uh, what's Lucian's drink of choice? Uh, appropriately a godfather. Alrighty. You and, you one sit. half whiskey, one half amaretto. Very nice. That they're sulking a little bit coming down from the emotions that you're dealing with after this close call of the heist. Uh, they're in your hideout in the back of this, uh, you know, bar hall area. Uh, Linda, Lucian, Benny for that. Uh, Linda, two cards left. Take, uh, lucky number one on the left. Okay, and first card here. That is the spade. And for you... The, the heist reminds you of a past uh, personal victory. As you guys come back and you just kind of you decide to, to, to remind everyone and tell them about that. You know, it reminds me of that time. What is that personal victory you've achieved in the past? Did I ever tell you all the way I found Aspie? Aspie found me. There I was one night doing a performance, right after my dad put me out the house and left me on my own. And a bunch of mobsters came in and tried to take the place over. I just wanted to get my way out, so I started going out the back, and that's when I ran into another group. One of them had a snake with them, and well, they tied me to the chair back there, and the snake was used as a, a deterrent to keep me from screaming. I didn't alert anyone else that was there, and I don't know what happened, but slowly they started leaving out the other door to go fight the other mob, and the way Aspie looked at me, I looked at him, and turned right around and bit his owner, and chewed my ropes off, and we got away, and he's been with me ever since. Yeah. Much to uh, Tommy's dismay. Ha. <laughs> And last but not least, Winston take the final card, which could have put the diamonds here, but it ended up the Joker, which is fine. So if you want, uh, you can pick any suit available. Um, I guess I don't know what the I don't know what the suits are. I don't know if there's like things to them, but uh, I guess we'll go with diamonds since it has been a diamond. Okay. For that, as you come back uh, from the heist. You immediately kind of just, uh, you know, go off studying or working on something. Um, that's that's the little bit of time that you spend right now. Uh, what is that? What are you doing? Mm. Other than your impressions, I bet, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I just uh, stand in the mirror and just do impressions over and over. No. Um, I think uh, Winston's gonna spend some time uh, cooking up another, you know, another scheme, another, uh, you know, another way that he can uh, maybe pickpocket some uh, unsuspecting uh, people. He knows that there's a, a big uh, doctor's convention in town, um, so he's gonna try to make sure he can get on the uh, invite list to some of those events and uh, perform there. And, uh, you know, as he's working the crowd, he'll uh, lift those heavy, heavy wallets off those uh, unsuspecting uh, doctors. Very nice. So you see Winston over there kind of working on something, uh, some of his other impressions and things, and right back at it preparing for something. 
And also uh, collecting up those bennies, it looks like. As uh, as you are here, you know, coming down from this heist, eventually, uh, Looney John comes by and pays you all a visit. Well, if it isn't Soup himself. I told you I don't like to be called that. My mistake. Come on in. Can we get you so something? What the hell happened to you? Cops are waiting for us. Waiting? Cops don't wait for people unless. unless there's a rat. Hey, talk to Mario. That's why I'm here. I think, uh. I think there's a little problem with Mario. Hey, you don't say. It's a, a bit of an understatement given uh, what we just went through. I'm shocked. Can you, this is my shocked face. He's still, uh, still on our side, and I have some question of that. I'm gonna make sure he's not talking. You know, singing. Singing like that canary. Now, we haven't seen him since, uh, since the police showed up. You guys would, would know that he got picked up. Um, Did he get picked up? Yeah. Kind of busted, um, by the police there, so. I yeah, mean, if you think he'll sing... Ah, I miss Brooklyn. We had people on the inside. If someone that was going to sing, they'd disappear. Well, if that's the case, then maybe that's what needs to happen. He, uh, he turns to you, Linda, and says, uh, I just, uh, I know your work, but as usual, clean up good afterwards. That it was a canary or a rat. Well, Aspie's looking pretty hungry. Damn snake. Sometimes I don't know why you hang out with these... These folks, Tommy. They, uh... I mean, they're a good group of people. They have their skills and their quirks. Isn't that right, Winston? That's right, baby. I don't like the way you're talking to me, Luna John. You got a problem with the king? He leans in and he he does like a horrible impression back to you. Oh, ah, and the king. He puts a, a heavy finger right into your chest as he says that. All right, all right, all right. You can be the king and he can be the king. There's there's two kings right now. Just relax. Just uh, just find Mario and. Figure out where he is. Make sure he's not talking. Get this thing uh, straightened out. The beach. Oh, yeah, I got it. Good to see you too, Lucian. As well, boss. Luna John takes off. And uh, it leaves you all to figure out how you are going to get after... Uh, good after Mario. Here uh, would be networking, as we mentioned earlier. Good chance for networking to go about town and see what you can find out. So, give me some ideas on on what that looks like. Uh, you know, how are you going to do so? Who you might talk to? Things like that. And then, uh, of course, within networking. It's generally uh, persuasion or intimidation, uh, one of the two. Of course, intimidation can have uh, worse consequences with failure, but uh, if you know you're you're better uh, better fitted for that route, maybe that's what you want to go with. So, okay, I have a couple um, couple opportunities here for that. Um, let's see. I mean, does 
Uh, does Tommy know people in the police department? Lucian does. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> then... What, um... Yeah, yeah Lucia, Lucian's gonna, uh, gonna call up, um, D'Antonio Williams, uh, also known as Dusky. Uh, he's a, he's a booking officer. Okay, yeah, uh, are you, um, rolling off street rise there, Lucian, or something else? Uh, oh, I have, I, I have, I have connections. connections. Nice, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Tommy, you, you would probably utilize your, um, street wise there would help you. Right. Yeah, I'll. Uh... They would help with that. Uh, so, Lucian, you have connections there. Okay. So, uh, yeah, with uh, you know, Lucian, you go out and um, call up. Uh, who was that again? Uh, D'Antonio Williams. Dantonio. Also known as also known as Dusky. Dusky. Okay. You reach out to Dusky. Uh, see if you can pull in a favor. Z. Listen, Cross, what, uh, what is it I can help you with today? Well, we have some, uh, potential, uh, potential issue. I don't know if you, uh, booked in a, uh, Mario Zella. Little squirrely guy. Not a nice man. Mario Zelle, not uh, not a name that rings a bell. Mm. Check my records, but if uh, if it's pretty fresh, might not have been processed yet. I can see what I can do. So give me a give me a persuasion roll. This is at minus two. Okay. A plus two because of networking, because of uh, Streetwise, right? Uh, do, I don't know if he also. I don't know. If I, he, I do have Streetwise as well. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. Uh, so straight roll. Yep. Straight roll. All right. That is a success. Okay. Tommy. Oh. Well, depending on what Lucian finds out, maybe Tommy will go uh, talk with anyone, see if he knows anyone that's uh, been booked and out recently, out on bail, see if they'd seen anything inside the joint. Okay, so you're just kind of going through your contacts for that? Yeah, anyone anyone who's uh, prone to getting arrested and then popping back out. Mm-hmm. So, um, give me a, give me a persuasion roll as well, uh, to, to try and talk to those people and, um, you know, get them to provide your information. Well, I was gonna, I mean, these are generally lower, lower level street toughs. Um, okay. I was gonna, I was gonna kind of go the other direction and, uh, that's fine. Intimidate? Break. Yeah break some kneecaps if necessary okay well then give me intimidation so that will be um it is at minus two as well but though. but streetwise two, okay yeah, still yeah. applies to that one okay yeah yeah it is uh streetwise is streetwise characters add jesus plus two to intimidation or persuasion rolls made to networking with shadier okay. criminal elements you didn't mean to do that for me right Are you back up to three? I thought you were down. Should be at. Should be at two though, actually, right? Come from. Oh, I think it changed because of the scene, maybe. Get it? No, uh, I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Some good uh, Aspie role playing there as well. All right. Uh, so Tommy, you uh, you get a success as well as as you are able to get get some people to talk. And um, you uh, you get some information as well, Linda and Winston. 
I uh, only need one more success here to really go. You could, you know, if you get uh, maybe some f better information with a raise. But uh, what are you guys doing? Try and uh, network. Maybe go out together if you want as well. You could do that. Yeah, I was just going to ask if Winston wanted to. Uh, my plan was is we could go down the strip as the performers and see if there's any of the street performers have any knowledge of anything that they've seen going on. And you guys know you guys know what uh, Mario looks like. He generally dresses, uh, you know, probably picks an outfit or two out of uh, Winston's closet. He, he He's generally wearing like a disco. He's uh, kind of got almost a big heavy pompadour-esque look. Uh, definitely fits the vibe of a, a sleazy guy in Vegas here. Pretty flamboyant outfit. So um, you'd be able to have those descriptions to offer to as you're looking around. So uh, yeah. if you guys want to, if one of you wants to support the other, whoever wants to make that choice, and then you guys assume are just doing standard persuasion here to get people to talk. So amongst yourselves, who wants to support and then who wants to make that standard rule? Um, well, I get, a, I get a, I get a re-roll on persuasion. So if you want to. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say he had that edge I was looking at. So I, I figured that would be helpful yeah. to. Give me some backup. Uh, so do you want... Middle. You get the re-roll. Do you want Linda to do the support? Or are you just trying to get the good roll? I think it's only when he supports, isn't it? Um, oh, is that... No, so I have, Charisma I have, I have Charismatic, so I just always get one free roll. Then I also oh. have... Yeah, I was going to work the room. Oh, I've worked the room too. So yeah, if you want to work the room, then I'll... You you can support me, and then I can Charismatic re-roll it if I don't like the result. That's probably our best... Combo. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so like flavor wise, I was thinking, you know, me and me and Winston will go down on the strip and uh, see if any of our fellow performers out there have seen anything else going on, and see if they've seen our uh, our little old friend Maui <clears throat> here. All right, so whoever's doing, you're supporting, right, Linda? First, sorry, who's doing the who's doing the support? I would. Winston would be because he has the. Bonus to support. Okay. Oh, oh, I thought you had worked the room. Sorry. No, yeah, you do. No, you, it's, was... you have both of those, so they're kind of. Yeah, I don't know the best combination to use that in. Okay, yep. so roll an additional skill die when supporting with persuasion. And I think you take the best, though. It's not like you add them together. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's why I didn't know which one would be more better. I don't know the then. best way to. Oh, maybe number of trait die there, Indy, in the um, modifiers. Just put two. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll try try that. that. So go ahead and do that with your your standard persuasion support rule. Okay. So that's a success. And I get um, I do get a free reroll on persuasion though too. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll another d6, I guess. Yes. Okay. Just to see if it comes out to be. Nope. Okay. All right, take the five. So, <laughs> plus one. So, uh, Linda, you have a plus one to your roll. Uh, is is you give me a persuasion as well? Uh, plus one. So it is a success. Um, you want to try it again and get a little more? Or are you good with that? We just needed one, right? You said success would give us that extra. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I mean, you're good there. You could try for a raise, get a little extra info, but... Um, yeah, well, not much higher. Okay. So, no standard success. For, yeah, that rolled it with a plus one, right? It yep, should've. yeah, it did the better rolls if you, uh, if you expand oh, versus okay, rolls. Yep. Okay. yep. Yeah. All right. You guys work. Your various connections, networks, etc. Uh, you just try and get information on Riley, uh, Mario, and his whereabouts. Assuming he's probably locked up by the police or whatever, uh, but you do get some information. You find out that uh, Mario is. Uh, being held in uh, insecure, uh, being held by security 
at the Colossus Casino and Hotel uh, by FBI agents. Ah, the feds. The you also you actually do find out uh, some people learned that they know he uh, is staying or being held in room two one zero six six, the way up on the twenty first floor of the casino hotel. And that's about it. There's a, you know, there's a decent crowd of people, as there usually is, uh, you know, here outside the Colossus. And there's something going on. There, there definitely seems like there's an event going on. Um, give me, give me notice checks all around. Or actually, notice or um, common knowledge. Good rolls all around. Okay. Uh, so, Lucian, uh, you and Tommy... Uh, either notice or re remember that there is a a concert going on tonight, and that's probably the reason for the heavier crowds, heavier than usual. Uh, an old, uh, not old, but a um, a pretty popular disco uh, performer named Coco is going to be here performing, and uh, along with that. There is uh, some souped up security as well around here that are keeping an eye on things, of course. So that's uh, that's going to be an obstacle to deal with. Uh, is uh, but the added crowd down. does uh, the added crowd will provide a bit more cover. Yeah, is it? It's today, tonight. Tonight, yes. Well, we got to move fast. All right. So. You, um, at this point, it's, you know, you need to figure out how to kind of get through the crowd, uh, avoid, you know, not really draw attention to yourselves with that security, and then really the task is to get up to the room and get Mario. So. Now, uh, now, um, shit, what's his name? Um... Mario? Uh, no, Looney John. Looney so, John. Looney John, are we getting Mario, or are we getting Mario? Like, That's uh, kind of... I. He kind of left that up to you guys okay. to interpret that situation. You know, if, if you feel he's... You know, if, if he's, he's singing, gonna sing, yeah. then... Uh, yeah, alright. Take him out, so... Okay, uh, well, uh... See, burglary never... Robbed a casino have to do a before. do a piece of work potentially. Yeah. So but, uh, as you guys think about that and uh, how you're going to head into the hotel here to get up to that, let's go ahead and take a break now and uh, take a few minutes to refresh, and we'll come back and figure out how that goes down. So, good deal. All right, guys. We'll see you all in a second.
Everybody, welcome back. So we left off as you all were. You've learned the situation with Mario, where he's at. He's being held by FBI agents uh, up in the Colossus Casino and Hotel here, uh, which also happens to be same location for a concert of the famous disco performer Coco. So a big crowd is here. There's heightened security for that, and uh, you have to. Get to Mario, who's being held in the 21st floor, room 21066. So we're going to do this as a, a sections of a quick encounter. Uh, so basically, quick encounter is um, comes down to almost essentially a single die roll to see how you navigate each of these sections. So there will be um, getting into the hotel, the lobby hotel, and... Um, up into the elevators. That'll be the first part of this. Uh, watch out for the heightened security there. Uh, you will then um, get up to the floor, the 21st floor where he is, deal with that. And then uh, lastly, getting uh, into the room and, and dealing with uh, anything that may be there. So, uh, so within this, it's essentially you know, describing how you're gonna deal with the situation. And then you guys kind of make a roll and the, uh, if you're successful or not in doing so. So, how are we going about uh, getting in and up without uh, really drawing too much attention to yourselves? Well, uh, I could potentially, if we can distract the uh, the people in the in the lobby, I could probably get us a room if I get access to the com computer. Okay. I feel, would, would that would that fall under the purview of electronics? Uh, yeah. Well, I think card. there is a like I think there's a hacking skill. Technically. Right. Um, his so his like the pre-written backstory says that he defeats surveillance surveillance mm -hmm. and security so I, I maybe that's not so much using as like cutting wires and stuff i don't know right um lucian can try and make a distraction by doing some uh by, by kind of playing up some gambling um, in the casino, uh, trying to <clears throat> win big, sort of thing. Yeah. Gather a crowd around. And that could assist in that and putting on a performance with S being herself. Now, we don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. No, no pets in the casino. <laughs> I'm not a pet, it's a scarf. It's an emotional support snake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, for the first round... For future reference, does, does it safe to say Winston has a new scarf? Oh, of course. Grab one from his wardrobe. Yeah, just want to make sure. Just Winston has a ready, ready, has a ready supply of uh, of outfits ready to go. Ready to go, yeah. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Tommy, you're gonna try and get to a computer and and get yourselves a room. But what's your yeah. purpose with that? Once you have the room, then you have basically access to move around the. Yeah, I mean, if we if we like can, sh like if I can get our names or. Yeah, our names on the registry, then, then we shouldn't have any problem like moving around freely. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's my thought process. Okay. Someone point out a flaw in the logic if it's there. 
Well, I mean, a casino is pretty open. I would say, yeah, as long as you're like. Well, well the hotel like, part is not is the yeah. thing. Yeah, generally, get us a, especially get us a to room. elevators. Yeah, get us a room that's in the same. Floor. Yeah, if I can see if there's a room Possible. available on the twenty-first floor, that would be ideal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That we were. And do you want to try and, as you're saying, hack that, or do you want to, you know, just maybe, kind of schmooze or or something with the. Uh, uh my schmoozing abilities ain't attendance. so great uh i think i'd yeah well like i have a good electronic score but yeah i don't have the hacking skills so maybe this isn't a good plan with the the electronics um you could maybe do something with the elevators themselves i would kind of maybe see it with that is Tommy, is your main goal just to like get us like a, a key card or something so we can get on? I know a lot of times at hotels you have to have an actual key card to a room to actually get in right in, into the elevator. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, I mean, I could just swipe a key card if, if that's I mean, what either, we're doing, either that yeah. or just like I don't, I don't know how the electronic skill compares to like hacking, but you can try and kind of forge a key card essentially from one of the machines uh, i think if we're putting a, on that a performance he could like if, if someone wanted to you know while we're distracting them is steal a key card from someone i mean winston's a skilled skilled pickpocket so we uh what do you got for pickpocketing for thievery e8 I got a D8 plus one. Oh, I have a D. I think I have a plus one as well because I have the um, thief. Yeah, thief background. Yeah, or edge. Honestly, we probably could. Uh, Let's just both try. Well, yeah. If we cause a, if Lucian and uh, Linda, you know, they're cause some distractions. Yeah. So, they're, so they're, the marks are distracted. You and I could probably each try to swipe a key card off the uh, the richest looking people who might have the top floor rooms. Biggest issue is going to be the FBI agents in the room. I'm, ass I'm assuming they're not just going to leave them in there. Right. Once we get up there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, you guys, two of you are going to do a performance. I think Lucian and Linda, you guys are going to do uh, kind of a performance and whatnot to cause a distraction here. And then yeah, yeah. Tommy, I know you, Winston, were you going to help with the thievery as well? Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, Lucian and Linda, um, go ahead and give me. So, Lucian, give me. I'd like. I'd like to be like uh, cheating at a at a poker table. Okay. So give me a gambling roll. Okay, and I get plus four to my gambling rolls. Okay. Oh, uh, and dealing with cards. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> You're over there and just putting on a show. This is, you know, just pretty crazy. There's a big crowd Get around all you in there watching as you are just focused, laser focused in there. And, uh, you know, every time, every time the cards turn over and you get a big win. Uh, what game are you playing? Uh, poker. Um, okay. Texas Hold'em. Okay. Uh, it just seems that. You know, there's definitely questioning looks from some. They're like, there's just no way this guy can be this good, this lucky. But uh, you're putting on both. You're getting the good cards. Luck is on your side. And also, you manage a great uh, poker game, uh, poker face, etc. cetera. And uh, it's definitely drawing a good attention. Uh, and actually... The crow's eye. It's the, the crow's feet. It's you're my, getting the, secret. the dealer, the pit, the pit bosses as well are kind of... A few of them are like... This guy's doing a little too good. We might need to draw some attention. And you do see a few um, other security guards kind of make their way over, just observing. Nothing that necessarily gives you concern, but it's doing what you want in uh, in regards to pulling security potentially away there. So uh, right now and then I'll flick a chip to someone elsewhere nearby, maybe in the lobby or something, uh, as you've probably done very often. Uh, Linda is just kind of just street performing. Uh, it's like putting on a show. So uh, go ahead 
and uh, tell us what you're doing with that, and then give us a performance. Yeah, so just uh, trying to draw attention and coming in saying, you know, I have a pretty staple position over at one of the other uh, casinos in the area, and wanted to see if we had room for more performances over here, and put one on, put on a show to showcase my skills, and um, just kind of doing standard little bit of card tricks and things for people, and trying to just draw a crowd, and uh, doing acts with SB and things like that to make it a little bit more unique of, you know, my partner in crime here. Maybe throw out uh, some smoke bombs and things? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, give me, uh, yeah, give me a performance roll. Okay. So, uh, just a straight success, but still good there. You guys are doing pretty good there. And uh, you feel pretty confident that you've... Because you set up... Uh, say you're in the lobby there, um, Linda, and you start performing and you draw a crowd and it causes congestion. And some other security kind of comes over to break up the crowd, weasel their way uh, to basically tell you, hey, you can't be doing this here. You need to move along. So for at least a few moments, it pulls some more security out of the way uh, for the others to do their thing. So... Uh, Winston and Tommy, you are able to go ahead and as there's two these two crowds uh, show up, you do see a few patrons and whatnot, maybe a, a cleaning person that wanders by that uh, likely is going to have one of those, uh, you know, skeleton key, key cards. Yeah, master keys as well. So um, you want to individually go have like a support one or the other? I wonder if, if it's a cleaning person, if we shouldn't swipe a card because do the master keys just look like regular key cards yeah so if we swipe a card from someone else and replace it okay on the cleaning cart i think that'd be the best option okay so if that's the whole operation um i can support if winston wants to do it okay does that work that works for me old uh, tommy all right uh, i'm gonna so now here's my thievery roll Very nice. You're the one going for the initial card? Yeah, I'll, I'll go for the initial card to pass off to Winston so you can make the switch. Okay. So as you, uh, you are amongst these two crowds here, and you see uh, you know, a couple that's come in that looks, they've got pretty fancy luggage and uh, pretty well adorned in their attire, and definitely anticipate them to you know, be one of these uh groups these guests that uh attend that high level uh floor with the suites um unfortunately for him the the male of the couple has his uh little envelope that holds the key card in his back pocket and not very wisely ah. and uh it's a uh, it's almost a little too easy for you to just go up behind him get involved in the show and uh pull that out pretty easily replacing the envelope uh taking one of the cards out of there you step over across the lobby, pass, uh, passing Winston, and hand that off so he can go and make the switch. Winston, uh, you go up to this uh, cleaning cart woman who is uh, kind of getting things ready to go off to do her duties. All Give me, right. uh, yeah, describe a little bit extra you're doing. and. All right, so Tommy's giving me a, a, a different card. I'm doing, doing a swap. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah I guess... Uh... Winston, with uh, just all of his uh, charisma and charm, will just uh, kind of sh strut and stroll right past the uh, the cleaning lady with the uh, one key card tucked up the uh, the sleeve of his uh, his jacket. As he walks by, he'll uh, very smoothly let the card slide down into his hand as he passes the cleaning lady and do a quick uh, with one motion, kind of a little swap out there on hanging off the uh, side of her cart. All right, that thievery. Okay, that is a success. You are able to make the swap as, um, I should have done opposed rules on these, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> you, uh, you go and make the swap there as, uh, the woman is a little bit distracted 
and you are able to grab that uh, generic uh, master key card for the hotel. From here, you guys can, uh, you, you've made it through the initial, you've entered into the hotel and, and are able to, you know, get into the upper floors here. So, uh, making a signal to each other, what's uh, your move here to gather everyone up and keep going? Um... Yeah, I'm Winston and Tommy, whatever. However you guys want to let us know while we're doing our distraction. Like we can keep that up or if you want if you want us up there too. Oh. Yeah, I mean I guess uh after we get the, the key card, kinda of go ahead and um sort of motion to Tommy to go uh get Lucy inside the casino and uh Winston will kinda of head back out in the lobby area or wherever uh Linda's at putting on the show and uh sort of stand in the back and wait for her to sort of make eye contact and uh, Winston will kind of just give her like a little little nod like hey time to move on to next phase of the plan here all right Tommy will go up to up to the table that Lucian's at and uh, like, all right granddad it's time to go I'm glad he's winning because it's my money and he starts pulling Lucian away to <laughs> to uh uh head back ostensibly to leave but then we'll they'll lose him in the crowd and then we'll reconvene uh, we, at the uh... before before lucian moves anywhere towards the elevator he is going to cash in those chips okay <laughs> um as as i get the nod from winston that it's time to go uh, i finish up one final act and i'll uh i'll toss the aspy up into the air um, during the act, and using my digitation kit, I will transform him into a scarf. And as he falls down, um, I'll, from the looks of it, disappear as I um, change outfits through the midst of the crowd as I'm going by and get rid of any flair that I have. So I'm not recognizable and just kind of look like a have a dress on with a scarf. Um, and then I just, as the scarf falls to the floor, I just walk over and pick it up and walk away from the, through the crowd. Okay. Give me a quick performance, uh, roll there, Linda. Okay. So people see like this weird, weird performance, uh, this weird attempt at, at this quick change of, uh, outfit, but, uh, when you get past the crowd, you're, you're confident that you'll be fine. But, uh, you know, a few of the people kind of saw, like, what what just happened here? And they're a little confused about it. But, uh, Lucian, uh, what is your... Um, how much would you be wagering per round? Um, so, unfortunately, Lucian is... Despite being very good at counting cards um he's still very cautious and father taught him that so he's he's gonna be probably um well it also depends on like what the minimum bet is because he's probably gonna be like 20 percent more than the minimum so if it's like 100 down or something like that okay so give me a um it would be a it's kind of like a uh you afford a hundred dollar table buy in depends on the um, uh, wealth die right yeah which what's that uh because this this system uses wealth die dice oh, yeah. it doesn't use uh yeah, that well, that is um, is that in the jumpstart as well, or uh, I think it's actually just in the in core the, rules. No, it's in the because uh, there's no wealth die on the actual jumpstart, but on the rat pack sheets, there there is a wealth die. Yep. I think that has something to do with like the money you earn. Yeah, it's for it's for bigger bigger income. Things. Okay, yeah, is what that is. It's it's oh, actually I have no idea it's a pretty cool concept. So like, if you guys get 
you know, like 30 grand from a thing, it goes to wealth. And then it's, it's understood that any regular purchases, you basically can uh, just buy those. And then you use the wealth die to say, all right, I'm making a bigger purchase. You roll that to see how okay. much you use up. It's, yeah, something like that. It's a cool concept. Okay. So, so for this, um, I mean, as a successful gambler, I'd say Lucian's probably. Okay. So give me a yeah. give me a gambling roll. All right. So you uh, you pull away with um, a good uh, five hundred dollars worth of chips. So, I mean, nothing huge, but it was still, you had your up and downs throughout that thing. Uh, had some good ups and then kind of came down a little bit, but net positive, you walk away with $500 there on top of where you began with. Excellent. And you all reconvene uh, back together, getting into the standard crowds now in the lobby, head towards that hotel and uh, begin making your way up to the 21st floor. You know that, uh, or you expect that uh, there's there could be some more security up this way. So, hmm, ready to be prepared for, for that. Uh, the floor ticks away as it goes up floor by floor by floor. And eventually, uh, floor 19, 20, 21. Ding! The doors slide open before you, and uh, the hallway does go left to right as you step out into the fancy carpet uh, for this hotel. You see a sign before you that says you need to go to the left uh, to head down to 21066. I want to find a... uh, If there's like a utility closet, something on this floor... Okay. Um, ostensibly be able to get into it with the key card because I have a lineman's telephone. I can tap into the phone lines, tell the uh, feds that we have an incident in the lobby and they need to get down there. Okay. So at least pull away some of the uh, guards. Okay. Uh, give me a. You guys step out. Um, give me. Give me notice checks all around. the fucking snake that has a d12 yes <laughs> he's pretty perceptive I just noticed. yeah all right so uh linda you uh maybe stepping out first a little cautiously you look down the hallway and so it's uh you know you've got two doors next to each other and then a little bit of space and the doors and there's kind of like um there's a little bit where in between for where the the walls are of the rooms, it juts out so that the doors are recessed. There's a little bit of area where you could kind of like, maybe, you know, maybe you're not going to be completely hidden, but, um, you know, if you need to walk down a little bit and get a little bit of cover, uh, potentially just to not be standing out. But you do notice um, a couple uh, individuals that are seen to be standing outside of a room uh, that definitely look to be uh, heavy security agent types. I'm just kind of watching as other guests come and go. They come by. Uh, they're they're a little bit ways down. Uh, you know, maybe a good uh, 10, 15 rooms down. Pretty big hotel, of course. Uh, they at least, you know, give a glance your way. As the hotel comes out, but um, mm. nothing yet as you guys step out. Tommy, you um, looking around as well. You do see uh, nearby, right where you come out of the elevator, there is a little side room that looks to be uh, what you're after. Okay. Shit. It is in view of the security guys, though. Is that before or after the guys? That was before, you, right? The the utility closet? closet, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's right nearby the the elevator. So you guys are still have 
So we're closer to that than the, mm -hmm. the guard. Okay. Yeah. It maybe 15 room. Still a little bit. See him down the hallway. Okay. All right. Um, uh, uh, Linda, you would also realize that uh, there's a convenient um, likeness between the carpet's coloration here and uh, Aspie's, you know, some of his natural pattern self as well. Winston. I'm gonna see if uh, I'm gonna see if Linda Linda has anything to say first. I guess. Well, I found, I was just gonna say I was see if anyone wants to go with me as we walk towards that room, pretending that we have a card to one of the rooms next to it, and that way Tommy can stay behind and try to get in the the closet. Okay. Yeah, and I'll create, go. Uh... Create a distraction for the guards. Yeah. If you guys and if you guys meander and take it slow, they might they might be running towards the elevator by the time that you get there. Mm, it might be good to have someone that's got a higher persuasion talk on the phone rather than me. <laughs> oh, like a performance thing or persuasion? Per persuasion yeah. Probably. Well. Yeah, performance still covers like even deceptions. Yeah, well, I get free, I get free, I get free persuasion rerolls, so I can. Yeah, maybe, maybe it'd be good if you would stay stay around here. Okay, I'll stick with you then. And maybe lose the accent <laughs> for the well, call. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think uh, I don't think uh, Elvis is gonna call him on the phone. Like, oh, you had the uh, Elvis impersonator phone call. <laughs> I can right. So, so Lucy, do you want to go with me then, and we can pretend like I'm, you know, picking up this old guy that just won big at the casino and trying to get into his room up here? <laughs> I mean, hey, Lucy let me just walk, won five hundred dollars. So. Let me walk Grandpa to his room. So, <laughs> just uh, you know, Lucy's in for a surprise when uh, he finds out about Linda's snake. <laughs> And while okay, and so Take while they on the walk, wild side. <laughs> while they walk down the hallway, when when they are in between the line of sight, in between the guards' line of sight on the um, utility closet door, we'll open that up and go in. Okay, so they are going down. Uh, you guys begin walking your way down the uh, hotel, uh, the the hallway there. As they kind of get in that uh, position there. Tommy, you go to go head into this closet there. Uh, give me a uh, give me a stealth roll, and I will give you a I'll give you a plus one uh, on that. Okay. Uh, stealth I roll. also I also get a plus one from thief uh, when in an urban environment. I assume the interior of a casino counts as urban. Sure. Yeah, so have that to set, uh, and this will be a target number against security notice. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'll leave it. Okay, we got a six. Won't get much better. Second one, we roll on the same thing. Humble, okay. So with uh, Lucian and Linda walking down, causing a little bit of a, you know, not distraction, but yes. Uh, and then also you're just, you know, acting casual enough to going into that room. Maybe they just think it's your room, whatever. Um, I just realized though, you guys only have one key card. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they're okay. just so that's it, is it only one hallway? It, or is this hotel big enough that it that there's like they could go around a corner and get away from the FBI agents if they needed to? I I'll say it it bends it bends a little bit, yeah. I've been assuming that since it's zero sixty six, there's a lot of rooms on each floor. Yeah. Yeah. 
So you guys walk down, um, and yeah, you could. So, uh, Tommy, you get in. Go ahead, and you two, what are you guys doing? Uh, I figured it would be electronics to tap into the phone line. Okay. I don't know if that's right. That's fine, yeah. Okay. All right. You pull up with uh, the little uh, inline device that you have yourself uh, and get in. And who are you calling? Uh, we'll call room 2106 D6. So you're calling the room? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you call that room? I'm going to have uh, uh, Winston talk on the phone. Okay. You pass over the phone to Winston. And on the other end, rings and rings and rings. And rings hotel rooms don't have answer machines so no one's picking yep. up this God phone just keeps ringing <sighs> all right so there's not a guard in the room with him interesting note okay either that, either that or not just not answering the phone i'm not yeah, sure they're which. just ignoring it <laughs> I mean, all we need to do to get their attention is commit a felony, so. <laughs> We're trying to get them uh, to the lobby, though, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Linda, kind of riding your notice from earlier, your, your good notice roll earlier, uh, you guys can kind of hear the faint as you get closer to the room. You can hear the, the ringing from inside the room, uh, the telephone, and one of the guards there kind of does turn their attention to it a little bit but then you know goes back outside and then they look over to you as you guys uh, are coming down the hallway just just a little bit of a nod and acknowledgement that you're you're there you uh you keep up the good work there just gives a nod to you <laughs> thank you random citizen <laughs> Lucian's doing like the old man shuffle that just um, ruins carpets. <laughs> I guess like what would stick the snake on him? <laughs> are, are you guys gonna try to, a call of like someone else or like well uh... you guys you guys don't know what's going on obviously right you, you hear the phone ring you can only assume anything. So, yeah, so, I mean, we don't know the FBI um, agent's numbers. I mean, you could call on a bomb threat. <laughs> that's gonna, that's gonna make it problematic to escape. Yeah, um, what, what if we could... time? <laughs> What if we uh, what if we call the front desk and have them page the FBI agents? Maybe that would work. What will we say? Hmm. Uh. I mean, we've got our weapons on us, right? Yeah, I mean, we could just shoot. Okay, these so I've, I've, all right, I've got, I've got, uh, I've got an, I've got an idea. Call, uh, call me down to like the main, the main, uh, all right, main, main office or whatever. Yeah, I'll call, call down to the, have it, have it ring down to the, uh, uh the main office then. Okay, give me another uh, quick electronics. Sure. At a plus two because you're kind of in the system, but I'm in it. I'm in. <laughs> Hacker man. Yeah, all right. You are able to head down to the, the front desk. There's a couple rings in your ear. Once again, Winston, and then eventually. Hello, thank you for calling Colossus uh, Hotel and Casino. My name is George. How can I help you today? All right, just real quick, remind me, we're on floor 21. 21st floor, yes. 21st floor, okay. Um, yes, uh, excuse me. Um, there was a very suspicious character um, walking around floor 19 um he was using the back stairwell and i think he may have had some sort of uh, a weapon um and i'm just i'm very concerned and wanted to make sure to alert you guys could could somebody check that out? i'm af i'm afraid to leave my room oh that is most concerning uh ma'am uh 
Give me. <laughs> I love the quest. The quest. <laughs> Give me a uh, give me a persuasion roll. Amazing. And I get a free re-roll, so I'll go ahead and okay. re-roll it just, I guess, to see if it gets any better. Ooh, it does not. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take my five. Yeah. <laughs> so George on the other line says, "Well, uh, yes, we will. I, I will call our uh, security and see uh, that they get up there uh, as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. Please." Uh, Please just stay where you are and, and stay safe. Um, and feel free to check back in if you'd like uh, to see, uh, or if you have any further information. And see, now a bomb threat is much more credible. <laughs> so, uh, you do this, and um, you... what? I guess, what are you doing a afterwards? Looking down the hallway, I assume? Yeah, I guess we'll just kind of look down the hallway and see what uh, Linda and Lucid are up to, and then also see if, um, you know, the, but the hope was, hey, if there's suspicious people and the hotel knows, like, FBI guys, they may, like, call back, hey, by the way, mm -hmm. there's a guy, like, a floor below you prowling around. There, you don't see any reaction by them as you kind of look down the hallway. You can only assume that they called the hotel security these agents are definitely on their own, doing their own situation. So, um, right. Linda and Lucien, what are you guys doing? Are you kind of lingering by one of the rooms or are you just heading? Keep, what's your plan? Oh man, if Lucien was anyone but him, I know exactly <laughs> what I want to do, but. Well, I'm. I, I need an answer first from the. Um, you, you have to pick. So, what. What poison does my stuff Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think it was no like particular reason. <laughs> the, the better one. Um, can I get to that in the... I don't remember what it is. Uh, yeah, I was going to do a uh, knockout. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 interesting. Where did you find that under? Uh, so if you go to a click on Aspie. Oh, it's you actually put it on. Okay. And then in his description in the right bottom right, scroll down and then click on po poison. The second the po the second one, not the first one. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Lucian is not a risk taker. <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be so. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, we're we're past the guards at this point. That's Probably. kind of up to you if you guys are lingering or right. if you're just going right past them. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll say we're we're just we just barely past them. Um, Winston and Tommy can look down and see us. Um. We 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 kind of slow down. Uh, Linda looks behind and kind of gives a, a kind of a lock eyes with uh, Winston and Tommy and kind of just looks down at Aspie and then she turns over and she trips Lucian in front of the FBI agent. Trips Lucian? Yep. Okay. And just kind of he falls over and says, oh no, he's fallen and starts yelling, I need help, I need help. Alright, I assume that you guys are together so you don't have to prevent that Lucian, you probably assume yeah, it's you know, part of the plan. <laughs> okay. Throw out a hip, old man. So you're you're trying to draw attention of the guards to maybe come over. Yeah, just even okay. yeah, face us and get towards us. We'll start moving. And we'll start moving. What that is way. Aspie doing? So once I looked, one of the guards looked, does kind of turn I, and look over. Before and, I and tripped them, Aspie started slithering away from yeah, away okay. from me towards the door. Give me a stealth roll from Aspie. Does it get any bonus because it's the same color as the carpet? Uh, yes, actually, it will be yeah, a. Um, give me a, a plus plus two to that. Goes up against the trim. Looks pretty convincing. <laughs> snag. <laughs> snag. Oh. Oh, there you go. It's still okay. Success. Success. Well, versus notice, maybe. So. Oh, 
。おお。Do we have masks or anything like that? I don't. Been playing for that. That would have been smart. <laughs> All right.、Uh, do you want to.、Um, would you want to try a reroll on that or are you good with.、Um, I mean, am I meeting it, beating it type of thing? Or... So he, 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 met, he met the roll, so he's going to. He, he's... Just met it at least.、Uh, it, it really, what all it's going to do is, is maybe potentially give you a benefit on Aspie's attack roll. So it's not really. Yeah, let's let's really just leave、things. it as is. Okay. Happen, yeah, so it, the guard happens, comes happens. over and doesn't notice Aspie, but like steps on it.、Um, You know, because it is kind of blended into the carpet and doesn't notice it that way, but then kind of trips over and it's like, what the heck? And looks down. And then Aspie probably does react a little bit, you know, obviously almost getting stepped on. And then the guard, the agent sees that it's a, a snake. It's like, what the hell? And、uh, the two guards immediately just kind of look up and are, are very confused and、uh, look at both of you like,、uh, what, what is going on? And they both raise their weapons as they're just not sure、uh, what the situation is right now. Well, uh, Lucian's, us, then, right? Lucian's going to、um, let's fake a heart attack. Okay. So I'm going to get us initiative at least here to see、uh, what's going on because they are definitely concerned about、um, what the hell you guys are doing.、Uh, Lucian, actually, give me a. Give me a performance check. Ooh. Um, that's gonna be untrained, so that's gonna be fun. Nice. Hey. hey. Oh, wow. It allowed that rollover. That's awesome. Okay. Do you sit there retching on the ground, grabbing your chest? And、um, you got one guard that's looking down at the snake, like, what the heck is this? And then the other guard does see you as、uh, you yell out about this heart attack. And, and snake, snake. <laughs> what, what is going on here? And he reaches over to a walkie-talkie. He says, "Uh, we've got, we've got a snake, and uh, we've got, we've got a guy、uh, having a heart attack up 21st floor. We need, we need support here immediately." Uh, that's not what we want. Um, you、shit. guys would hear this、uh, down the hallway. You kind of hear this commotion and everything going on. And you realize when they call out for the support that. Have、uh, they moved from the door? They've they pulled over, yes, to where you guys are at, because you guys、yeah. had walked away a little bit. So,、uh, Aspie is not on the. He's、list. got a walk. Oh,、uh, that's a shame, because I have a cell, I have a cellular interceptor. I don't know if that works on walkie talkies though.、Like、What's、so. that say that does? Ah,、uh, literally, I wasn't able to find it. Oh, maybe I should. Maybe it's. Hold on. Let me look in the gear. Um, so oh, a red joker again. It literally doesn't say what it does. Oh,、so、it's probably just, yeah, like. Intersects cell phones. Cell signal as opposed to. Because.、Uh, Give me a. Cell, FBI. FBI. cell stuff. They're not going to be using just a TV. Yeah, it's like、one. a walkie talkie type thing. Which、um, is a radio wave. Yeah. Give me a, your, give me an electronics roll. Okay. 
at there we go okay um okay i will say that um you you intercept with the rays you do intercept the signal a little bit okay um there's there's, there's a delay some of the words got through so it'll kind of be you know maybe at best you might have delayed support but and there's still probably going to be some support on its way call an ambulance but not for me <laughs> all right uh so the first fbi agent is up uh the one that tripped over aspie sees everything going on and he he looks down and just says what the heck is this darn snake doing in here and he is going to um better than the panther that was there yesterday <laughs> He's just going to go ahead and uh, kick out at Aspie. Uh, this is kind of all he, he can think to do. Um, he's not going to open fire on a snake. <laughs> no. Ow, well, I was, very... was going to ask. You said they pulled our guns out. I was like, who, who are they pointing their guns at? <laughs> uh, Aspie is considered small, I think. Size minus three. Okay. Yeah, very small. Um, they... Very difficult to hit. How about luck. melee attack, though? Is, is melee attack is their penalty as well? Um... Still just against parry, I think. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, I will consult the manual. But I think you're right. Oh, I didn't tag him for... Okay, well, that's... Uh, what's his theory? Six, that's a fail. Six, yeah. Okay, so uh, the guard kind of like goes to stomp down and, and Aspie is, is wavering around to avoid uh, the attack and misses. And uh, he's just confused about what's going on uh lucian you're on the ground um putting on this performance but you see that the guards uh you know have called for backup and and situations not about to go good oh boy um This is some very light music on what's happening. Right, here. I was just thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> um. So he he's not like up towards me, correct? The guard. Yeah, you know, like I, he's he's not within striking distance per se. Melee. Um, I would say he probably it would make sense for him to come over and kind of kneel, you know, bend over you as you're in pain they're okay. gonna have some basic training yeah um i don't know how well this is gonna go over he's gonna gonna kind of lash out like in the just and just kind of accidentally try and hit him okay just like a strike an arm yep. strike okay so uh Double right click on the agent and it should target them. Put Double little... right click? Yes. Ah, okay. Yep. And so then that'll bring in their parry when you make that attack. It should And that is that fighting? Yes. Yep. Okay. Very nice. Oh, that uh, against a five, that definitely hits. And that's a raise. Fantastic. So uh, go ahead, give me... So click the one that's got the... I think it's the two dice. I forget what it looks like again. But the one on the right for raise damage. The... Wait, sorry, where? There should be... In the chat card. Yeah, the chat card. There should be two dice symbols for damage. And you want the one that has... Um, it's on the right, the furthest right one. I think it's got multiple dice on it. Okay. Yeah, for the, the skill dice, or... Nope, no. in your chat card where you just did fighting. Uh, right. Well, there's a fighting and not an actual, like, weapon. Oh, oh yeah, you're right, you're right. Up. Nope, actually, because, yeah, unarmed is... um, It's just, just a your... strength, right? Um... That's why. That makes sense. Yeah, damage is strength. Just straight strength that's what our uh cards for coffin rock say okay so um yeah so just roll uh roll strength right off of your sheet actually okay. but you got to have the raise damage so um another die or 
Yeah, you have to and just... D6. Go ahead and just roll roll the um, strength die first. Okay. Just at minus one because I'm elderly. Okay. And then go ahead and click um, just your, at the bottom of the chat, the square for the D6 um, as additional for the rays. Uh, hit it again. Does it explode? Okay, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 14. That is a lash out. <laughs> Very good, yep. Just and then future reference, at the bottom of there, you would click, you got to have it click first, but the um, ace, if you click on ace in the um, chat, it'll, it'll ace them when you do a manual roll. All right. Okay. Against uh, five, so that definitely hits. Um, that's going to shake. And that would cause a wound. <laughs> so he will spend a Benny to try and get rid of that, which is soak, soak for a vigor. All right, that is a success. So uh, soaks the wound and the shaken because they soak all wounds. So uh, you just come up and catch him off guard and surprise him with a clock. I just. Like, what the? And it dazes him for a quick second, but then he shakes it off and stands up and is not happy. Um, you technically have movement if you want, Lucien, or you can just stay there. You would be. He's gonna, he's gonna stay. He's gonna keep playing this up. Okay. All right, Winston, you're down the hallway quite a bit, and you see all of a sudden something kind of going on in front of you, and Lucien strike out. Okay. Um, oh boy. From a pay out of this actual accurate distance that we're here or is this all just like a visualization sort of a guess i would say if, that you guys are a good um because what each square is two yards uh, right um six and yeah two yards and, so yeah. i don't know what is 15 rooms away gonna be good Pretty, yeah, let's say it's pretty close. Okay. Um, okay, um, Winston's going to use his full pace then to uh, move down. One, two. Um, and now that he's within uh, earshots of uh, the FBI agents, um, he's going to uh, yell at them um, in an attempt to try to uh, distract them here. Um, let's see what I want to do. Yeah, I guess he's just gonna come over and go, "Hey, yo, what, uh, what's going on here? You need a, need a doctor?" Because <laughs> your... I can also impersonate one of those. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say, oh, "I'm, uh, I'm here for the plastic surgery uh, convention. I'm actually a doctor." Uh, so and you're you're attempting to distract? Yeah, just distract him with like a taunt sort of a thing. Okay, so go ahead. Or performance. And... I'm putting on performance for some way to distract them, I guess. Yeah, give me a performance. And the one near Lucian, specifically? Yeah, that works. Okay. And that is against Spirit. That will be a fail. So they are distracted. All right, and that'll be it for, uh, for Winston. Okay. Um, also, make sure you untarget people because I think it uh, if you target more than one person, um, it will, I think, shoot at both of them. So if you're going to change targets, just kind of remember that. Uh, double click again off that. Okay. Uh, Linda, you are up. You and Aspie. Uh, Aspie is going to try to fight this gentleman here. Okay. Uh, 
then I have to kill these guys. So here's then, where you could do um, wild attack if you wanted, and that just gives you uh, plus two. It it's plus two incoming as well, but uh, if you think that uh, there'd be some value in, in making sure you connect, that's a feature that you can take advantage of. Now, is the poison? Is that just part of my bite? Right, it's not. A separate... Yeah, if you hit, so it says. Um, uh, is it in the bite description? Yeah, no, I think it's just checks. when you hit, uh, with a successful hit, it does uh, does the poison. Roll that. All right, that is going to be a fail. You can give another try, or yeah, let's see what that. Was. I would have to use a bunny right for that. Yep. So click on the bunny in the chat card. It should automatically do it. Now that you you want to click the one in the see the in the chat card. There's a symbol of bunny. Not for SB. Oh, because he doesn't have any. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So re -roll. yep. Click that re-roll. Okay. Still not gonna do it. Control policy. What's no, that? I guess no, I guess distracted doesn't matter. It'd be vulnerable. Yeah. Yep. Vulnerable would be the one there. So. Um. I mean, you technically can use another Benny if you want. Um. No. I'll just uh have Linda will. Oh. You could technically support Aspie as well, which I'll allow if you want to do that. Try and push it over the edge. Yeah, we'll do that. Um... Or the, or you have the wild attack, which I'll let you apply still as well, which gives you two plus two to the attack. Is there Was there any downside for that? I yes, it's plus it two was... incoming as well. Oh, on, I mean, on, Aspie. on Aspie. Okay. Yeah, but you know, like I said, that could. Yeah, um, let's do that because he's small and it's hard to hit. So. You are vulnerable until the end of your next turn. Um, of your next turn, not this one. Right. Okay. Okay. So. Vulnerable. Yep. Cool. So that is a plus two. So that'll hit. That's a successful hit. So go ahead and um. And you get damage uh, to, as well. So when you click damage, regular damage, do a plus two, the bottom where it says damage roll modifier in the chat. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, that is a. It is just a success. And double check the poison. At least a shaken. Okay. So vigor roll modified by the strength of the poison. Um, oh, if it applies, so just a modif just a vigor roll here. All right, that is a fail. So, I, uh, I think what was that again? It just knocked out. Yeah. Yep. For a two D. Six turn for hours. Okay, go ahead and roll that. Oh, you know what? Did you roll? Oh, you did roll your bite. Okay. Yeah. And you caused shaking on him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So he is out. Um. Not really symbol for that. Okay. Slumps over to the ground as the snake comes up and does is able to find purchase on the back of his leg and bites in, releasing its venom, knocking him out. The other agent is finally up. 
and uh, sees this goes on, but is distracted. It's like, what the heck is going on? And is just going to um, go ahead and uh, punch, re retaliate, punch you, Lucian. Rude. <sighs> that guy's got some anger issues. And that too. will be a fail. I'm going to go ahead and give that another try okay <laughs> oh no and finally tommy you are up you're seeing all sorts of things go down okay at the end of the hallway. i'm i'm gonna run I'm gonna give my running die okay roll, and i'm gonna run all the way up not i'm not drawing weapons i don't have my brass knuckles out i'm just just running up as a concerned citizen at the moment i get 12 very nice how do you move without a control hold control and then drag away and then um click and then you can hit space bar and it'll move can i get up there then uh no, I don't so be there and i don't have it this is three tiles wide uh okay i'll go yeah. right here then and then hit space bar yeah there we go yep. yeah i'll just come there and like hey what's going on here everyone okay sir i'm like looking down at Lucian. <laughs> all right uh is that your full running is running an action or is it i believe running is an action yes yeah i think it was yeah okay all right linda you are up first at the top of round two. Oh no not anymore <laughs> i hit the wrong i know what i i know i did that damn it um, let me go back to Okay. Um And we'll save this round too, which is still good. Uh I need to go back to how many people we got in five. Tommy had a nine of hearts. Vincent had a six of clubs. You're going to have to take away a Benny from all of us. No, it's fine. We because also, we can also I'm, just spend them. I'm going to keep that round up as well. Okay. So uh, Lucian was a jack of clubs. Linda was an ace of spades. Agent was a jack of diamonds. And the other agent was Ace of Heart. Okay, so um, reverse alphabetical order on this stuff as well. Linda, you were first. I remember with the Ace of Clubs, and then it would have been Agent with Heart. And then it would have been Jack of... Clubs or diamonds? Uh, diamonds. So diamonds, then clubs. What's that? Diamonds, then clubs. Diamonds, then clubs. reverse, isn't it? Yeah, if it's reverse, I would be second. Agent would have been first with hearts, right? No, it goes... I think it's spades. Or spades. Linda, you yeah, were, yeah, you yeah. were no, first, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, oh, the D would be first <clears throat> for the diamond, which would be the yeah. agent. So agent, agent... And then it would be the Jack of Clubs, which was Lucian. And then... Tommy. Oh, uh, nine is Tommy and then Winston. Okay. Linda, you're up. All right. Uh, we'll give Espy another shot. Come on over and... Wait, this... I think you might still have the wild attack bonus. Um, oh, for the turn, never mind. You're just vulnerable for the next one, so. You're technically vulnerable until the end of this turn, so if you want to redo wild attack, you could. So hit, click that on your sheet, on the, sorry, on the chat card if you want to do that. That is a success. So, uh, you get plus two on the damn. 
it, click the wild attack because that'll add, should add the plus two or do it manually, however you want to do that. All right. Um. Damn it. Oh, plus two damage there. That's why. Okay. All right. It's just enough. So go ahead and roll uh, the knockout time if you'd like. All right. So you've got That's plenty of time a here. Significant amount of time. <laughs> okay. So um, at this point, both guards are knocked out. Uh, what do you guys want to do? We'll kind of come a little bit out of initiative order. Okay. So we've got plausible deniability. Actually, I'll just I'm gonna end combat because of. Uh... So here's what we're gonna do. I mean, they've got bite marks. Well, we they should, know uh... that we physically assaulted them. They got bit by a snake. Do we hear um anything coming back over the walkie talkies like repeat that or run our way or anything? Uh, give me a. Uh... You hear a little bit of chatter, yeah. It, um, more so that you know you could respond. Say so, yeah, we could take. The I'd say yeah. Actually, yes, it would be kind of like. Yeah, sorry, come back. Uh, we, we didn't catch that. What's going on? Do we need okay. to send people? Yeah, so I guess uh, Winston, being the uh, the expert impersonator that he is, will uh, pick up one of the walkies, and I guess whichever agent had talked, I guess try 19th to. Nineteenth floor. Nineteenth floor. Try to try to sound somewhat like that uh, that agent you know, that we t heard talking previously. Okay, uh, give me a performance roll. Ooh. All right, so you pretty good. And what is your message? Uh, yes, this is uh, Agent uh, John Smith. Um, oh, don't say a name. Well, I see, he's, he's badge probably. It's like ID card. Oh, okay, yeah. I was just, yeah, I'm just assuming he's just got generic. Uh, just from looking, it looks like a John Smith. But anyway, I'll say his name. Um, false alarm. Uh, old man uh, stumbled a bit. We thought he was uh, in trouble, needed some medical assistance, but uh, situation is all clear. Floor twenty one, out. Co copy that. Uh, over and out. A little bit of like, you know, kind of confusion, but y y you feel a little convinced that kind of covered up. So okay, you stand so... here outside of 21066 as uh, the two FBI agents lay before you knocked out from Aspie's bite. So when we leave, um, I'm going to be deleting some security camera footage. It'll be fine. We'll take the master key and unlock the door. Lucian gets up. Uh, you know, Linda, I've got a bad knee, so uh, warn me next time, please. <laughs> uh, we didn't really have time to think, did we, dear? <laughs> I suppose not. You insert the key into the room, and the lock uh, beeps in acknowledgement. Of, un of opening up and you open the uh, door to the room and you see that uh, as as the evening has come upon you um, the room is filled with the red glow of the setting sun uh, there are no other lights on in the room which uh, you find a little peculiar uh, you step into the room and it is empty there is no one in the room uh, give me notice checks SP bring it home <laughs> I like this snakeskin dicer. Good touch. I saw that. I was like, "Oh, I forgot to change my dice." Yeah. All right, Linda. Uh, you guys come in, Linda. This is definitely um, your. Most of you are gonna pick up on this, but uh, Linda, as uh, you know, the the cleaner generally, uh, of the group, uh, taking care of the crime scenes, making sure, uh, things don't, uh, you're cleaned up after and you're not leaving any traces, but you notice in the, um, trash bin, uh, an envelope that, uh, kind of like folded envelope is, uh, pamphlet is sitting in the trash. 
the rest of you, the room looks, you know, used a little bit. Uh, you can see where people were, you know, someone was sitting on the bed. Um, there's some glassware out and about, uh, some food wrappers, uh, things like that. So there's definitely some people in here, um, you know, ashtray with a couple, uh, you see two uh, cigarette butts in there as well. Um, it's still warm? Uh, no, they're not not very warm. Nope, they definitely look like they're a bit older. So check the bathroom just to be sure. Nothing in there. Fuck me, Linda. So you go grab that, uh, assumingly. Yeah, can I? Do I have to use a. Well, I'll grab that, but can I look around for any other clues as well? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's the major thing that stands out outside of anything. Um. Around, yeah. I guess what are you getting at? Well, so like with cleaner, I can use my healing roll to look and find other um, clues from the. Okay, okay. Um, not really anything here to do so. Um, but you go and grab that pamphlet out of the trash, and you see that it is uh, a pamphlet for a show. It happens to be Coco here at the Colossus Casino and Hotel, and uh, inside where. There would be, um, a, there's a pocket for tickets. Those are missing. Um, and you know what, actually, Linda? Give me a, give me that medicine roll, or the healing roll you said. Um, there will be something else that you can go after. I also get a plus two to all my healing points. Very nice. So you notice uh, on this pamphlet, there's a little bit, very minuscule, but there is a little bit of dust, white dust that happens to be on that uh, pamphlet. And uh, you guys have been around the block a few times. You're you're pretty confident that this is, uh, this is some powder, some snow, some dust, cocaine. So FBI is letting him uh, go to a concert and... Uh... and uh do some snooters sounds like he's a rat do some gas station schneef <laughs> what? they're supposed to be protecting why we let him go well unless he's being escorted by somebody but kind of yeah, still odd be guarding the room that's, that's give me actually so um yeah, I'll just say, you guys know Mario decently. He is, he's pretty, you know, he, he's a bit clueless of a person. Uh, he's hes impulsive at times as well. And he's also a little bit of a, a chicken with some things, a little yellow here and there. Cocaine, definitely not something that he'd probably mess around with. Not his style? Yeah. Okay. He, I mean, he's a peculiar fellow, fellow but... Uh, he had enough, um, oh, uh, what you call it, to, uh, to resist that stuff. Discipline. Huh. He's more of a heroin guy, got it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. Do we know anyone that does cocaine that would have been here with him? I mean, the FBI agents probably. Looking around the room as well. So you assume that there's at least, you think there was, a, you know, there's other people here other than Mario. Mm -hmm. Probably can Hey, do we want to bring the guards into the room? Yeah, that's probably a yeah. good idea. We're not yeah. <laughs> Definitely can do that. Drag them in. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to rummage through their pockets see if they have any information okay yeah give me a uh i don't even know what investigation it is. guess a, a notice roll i guess okay Okay, uh, so 
there's not on their person there's no information there's you know you find their their weapons um badge kind of things like that but there's nothing definitely no notes or anything that says any details on what's going on okay so we've, so we've useless we've as usual we've drugged them back in the room now yeah okay um winston's gonna take their uh well, one of their walkie-talkies and then probably toss the other one against uh, Tommy or somebody and say, hey, this will, you know, could come in handy. Yeah. Then, can we, I assume they have handcuffs. We can handcuff them. Well, uh... They would have some, we, so you could probably use theirs. Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. The, uh, or do we not? Do we want to just make it look like they got bit by a random snake? Well, actually, you know, I think, I think Winston actually, um... I'm gonna take whichever one maybe looks like his size and is going to uh, take his entire agent ensemble and put it on. Okay. You can do that. The, the, the bright gold uh, heavy frames turn into uh, yeah. some aviators. Take those off. And, yeah. Got some aviators there. To, do you need to give you a second? Uh, <laughs> grab another <laughs> I'll, uh, I and then go with the, let's go with my Wayfair, my regular. There you go. <laughs> and then I'll, taking that pamphlet from Linda, I will just, uh, like, take the, take the part that's kind of got some snow on it and kind of brush it off onto, like, like, right on here, onto one of them. <laughs> Do that too, make it look, the one that's naked, put the cocaine yep, on yep. it. <laughs> Oh, on to the not, then, uh, not Tommy. Then, you're doing it to the the guard. Yeah, I'm sorry. Doing it to the guard, okay. Yeah. I thought you were and just. Then uh... I'm gonna handcuff the the one that's not naked to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now man. that's plausible deniability. There you go. Yeah. And I um grab my prestigization kit and pull out a fake snake. And lay it on the bed. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like they had a twist yep. that bit with. Yep. Oh man. Also, give me a um give me another healing roll to clean up after you guys to, mm -hmm. to kind of absolve yourself of any races of being here as well. Yeah. When we leave, I'll try to we'll try to get into the security room and delete okay. the footage. Do you feel pretty good uh, about this? So as this is going on as well, Tommy, uh, you get a call um on your on phone my, uh, i think you got it. yeah yeah your, your good old fat flip phone and you see that it is uh looney john tommy how's it going oh nice well uh <laughs> does uh you guys uh make progress it's getting pretty late well uh he's not here not in the room well Find him. We're doing our best. Just uh, give us a few more. Give us a little bit of time. We're uh, currently playing some games with some FBI agents. No time for that. Is less time for me being thrown in jail for assaulting two FBI agents. So you, you let us work. We'll we'll have a we'll be out of this in a little bit. We ask if he does uh, cocaine fetching. <laughs> you uh you no into particular reason you into the snow there uh looney john you just get there's this kind of silence on the other end that you know is like what shut the fuck up and do yeah, the job that i hired you to do yeah <laughs> what are you going after here no. he just kind All of right. hangs up the phone and yeah yeah that's what i was expecting no maybe he's to him. he's so <laughs> talkative like He's very talkative. All right, let's get. I think we got to get to this concert. All right. So you guys head out of the room and uh, head down to the. Up by the security. To the lobby. Uh, head back to the to the down the elevator to the lobby here. It's got to a point in the evening where people are starting to head to the concert. Um, as it basically opening act is, is going on and, and the crowds are, are much more here. Um, I it, definitely want to take an opportunity where like people are more distracted to 
delete security camera footage. Okay. Um, if we can cause a distraction to sneak into the security room or whatever, I don't know how complicated that's going to be. So give me a, how do you tell me how you're going to find that room? Mm, that's a good question. I will also say that as the concert is here getting started, security has certainly increased. Increased. Okay. okay. I thought they would have moved around. Never mind. Then we will. Uh, I might have to pay someone after the fact to do that. I'm One a, thing you I'm notice a lot of where I want. <laughs> you guys notice that um, a lot of you probably are starting to do double takes, thinking you see Mario, because along with Coco, world famous disco artist is all of her fans in disco attire as well, which Mario often adorned himself. Uh, so he fits right in. So it could be a little bit of a challenge to try and pick him out in the crowd. What, uh, what are you guys doing at this point? You wanna go to the concert, try and uh, get after him? I think that's probably a good idea. I don't know what else. You kind of had where the crowd is uh, filtering in during the initial act and um, get up to the door um, to try to, to get through into the concert. What, uh, how are you guys getting in here? Or even, you know, beforehand, what's your, what's your, what's your way of getting into the concert? I think it. Uh, I mean, is there a line? people before the ticket takers yeah just uh swipe swipe four tickets okay me uh give me a thievery roll Tommy. come on don't fail me now uh is this this is contested by notice uh it will be yes i'm gonna give that another try Does not get better. All right. All right. So it was okay, a six was the first one. Six. Yeah. Wait, what is Why, this? Want to use my thievery rule? Well, you guys, you know, go for two tickets each. Yeah, yeah. that'll work. Okay. So I will say just to, you know, somebody that's there a little distracted. Um, gives full. Cool. Tommy, you survive or you succeed. And you definitely succeed as well as uh, you're able to, from two unsuspecting uh, concert goers, snag their tickets out, uh, fall back in line a couple, a couple spots. You, you see as they get up to the line, each set of people that they look touching all their pockets, like, where's my tickets? What the hell? And the, the ticket takers uh, just say, sorry, I... You know, you can check in with the, the guests uh, services at the front of the hotel. Maybe they can help you out, but um, you can't get in without a ticket. Things filter down and eventually um, you guys get up to enter in. Uh, well, I assume that it's Linda, Lucian, and Tommy here. Uh, Winston, are you going along with the rest of the group? Um, Agent Winston, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, um, I think Agent Winston with his badge is just going to... Uh walk up to security, do a quick, uh, you know, show the badge and say, you know, coming through. Give me a, uh, give me a performance check. Or probably you want to do performance over persuasion, but. I mean, I get free rolls on persuasion, so I'll use that sometimes too, but yeah, I'll take my seven. Okay. The, um, Yeah, the the ushers there just kind of look at you and and uh, they're busy. They you know definitely don't seem like they're gonna you know bother with this. And you're able to get by, so you kind of get let in uh, and and uh, head into the crowd uh, into the theater. 
a few other people go through. The rest of you are able to join as well. And you see open up into this large theater, uh, the stage just flashing lights uh, going off. The music begins uh, as well. And it's it's uh, good old funky jams as you uh, enter. <laughs> and you see now. a sea of polyester sequins, colorful flavors all about uh, slicked up big uh, large hair and whatnot, bell bottoms, flared pants, flared arms, and um, begin looking around to hopefully find your target, Mario. Give me, go ahead. One thing I was gonna ask, you know, having, I guess, the the walkie-talkie or the the earpiece or whatever for the FBI guy, um, is there any type of chatter or any kind of conversation at all coming across that? Um, like, hey, we've got the guy, we're keeping eyes on him. Hey, this song sucks. Just, I guess, anything? <laughs> Not really. Uh, there is, um, actually, yeah, you do hear a uh, little bit of, of just things like, uh, uh, Target has uh, has moved to the concerts, uh, keeping an eye out um, as they enter. Okay. So really, you just know that they're here. But uh, that's about there. it. Yeah. So as you guys look about the crowd, give me notice checks to try and pick out Mario. Many feet for S to see above, I guess. All right. Uh, first one was rinsing up with a that's in a four, loosen with a four, and this a five. All right, you look around the, the, the crowd and you see a lot of people. Uh, you know it's going to be tough to pick out Mario. He's going to be looking a lot like the rest of these people. But you do happen to find uh, notice him uh, there in the crowd, uh, bopping along to the music. Um, every once in a while, he kind of looks around as if he's you know, concerned about what's going on. Uh, it does look like there is a... Um, There, there's somebody with a brown uh, trench coat um, that is next to him. Longer brown hair. You can uh, assume is is uh, he's pretty close to Mario, and assume is maybe a um, fellow agent, special agent maybe that's residing over Mario, uh, knowing knowing that he was in essentially custody anyway. So. Well, uh, the song, uh, the current song kind of comes to an end quick and the, um, the band that's playing comes out and says, uh, we've got one more and then we're going to go to a uh, quick intermission and then we will have Coco when the crowd erupts and then the band starts up their final song. And you see at this moment when that happens, uh, it seems that Mario and this other person with them seem to kind of start moving through the crowd. Forwards the stage. Well, I'm. Let's let's move to follow them. It. it I mean, safe to assume it's pretty packed up. The closer to the stage we get. Yeah. A lot of mosh pitting in disco concerts. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's probably actually is a open dance uh, kind of dance off area as well oh up front too. God. But um, yeah. This go died like 20 years ago. People move on. Winston showing off some of his moves. Let's People do, are pretty yeah, surprised like, by the, uh, the, <laughs> agent. the agent that's doing pretty well. <laughs> so uh, what do you guys want to do? You want to advance towards them? Keep an eye on them? Oh, I'm trying to make it there's an easy way. 
move around. I'll get closer, um, but not not look like I'm trying to get close. You know, like just gonna move casually. Give me uh, a yeah, I'll, I'll stealth closer, roll, so. Tommy. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's that? Does this okay, count as an urban environment? Well. What's that? Does this count as an urban environment for my plus one? Yeah, I'll say just with the crowd. Definitely helps out. I'll get closer as well, too. Okay, give me a stealth roll as well. Uh, yeah, Aspie does it. Not yet. Oh. Aspie's the scarf. Right now, yeah. All right, you guys head up and uh, seemingly are able to keep a tail on these two as they head off and they eventually split off from the crowd to the left and look like they're going around uh, to the back of the stage. Oh, I wondered. How are they, is there anyone standing at the door behind <clears throat> the stage there? It looks like there's like, uh, yeah, bouncer security types. And they're they're currently talking with them. Give me another uh, notice roll real quick. All right. Uh, Winston, you would uh, definitely notice that um, you see Mario, you see the assumed agent or whoever with him, but you also notice uh, a couple other uh, pretty brute individuals. Um, and now that they're out of the crowd, you notice something that's really odd is they're wearing togas uh, here amongst everyone else in disco attire. These two goons that uh, are wearing togas. Uh, Real confusingly, but uh, they're flanking uh, the other two. How many people are there total now? There are um, uh, four, and that includes Mario. Okay. Talking to the security guards to head back. So, Mario, a dude to trench coat, and then two dudes in togas. Yeah. What the damn hell? Any other way backstage? Doesn't really look like it. Okay. No side doors that could be unlocked by the uh, the skeleton key. Um, there's a couple doors, I guess, around the side that yeah, you might be able to get around. Whether they come back around to behind stage, have to attempt. I'll get drinks back there somehow. Eventually, the bouncers step aside and allow the group to pass through, and they head back to behind the stage. Okay. Winston, uh, do you want to follow them since you're... Yeah, and actually, right before that happens, I was going to say, um, as I see him, like, walking up, as other people get on there, um, Winston was going to get on his comm and just uh, say, uh, situation update on the target, please. Basically, I want to see if that guy in the trench coat responds or not there's a moment and um one one chat one voice comes in says uh agent smith what are you uh what kind of update are you looking for you the the target has uh, entered the, the concert they're uh out of our supervision Out of our supervision, you say. Understood. I wanted to confirm he was still at the show and not en route to his room. Copy that. Do you have reason to believe that uh, something's happened? Well, now I do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is people. <laughs> Um, Toga. <laughs> no. Situation seems, uh, seems normal. 
Copy that. There's another voice that comes over and says, uh, kind of a, a hurried, annoyed voice and, and just says, what are you guys doing? I told you to, uh, keep quiet and stand down. You do notice that the other agent, uh, does seem to be the one. He kind of like turns in his coat as he says that. The guy in the trench coat? Yes. Okay. Because Tommy has the other radio, he's listening to this too. Okay. Uh, apologies, sir. Just a little bit on edge. It's a crazy night. So after that, they head through and go backstage. Are they going back for information, or are they going back because they think he was involved in it? Oh, this feels like they paid, uh, feels like someone paid the FBI to hand him off to this guy. Yeah, so, uh... We're gonna have to go back there. I don't know how else yeah, we're getting guess, back there. Yeah, I guess Winston will wait, um, wait a little bit, I guess, and then, um, start heading back towards where that bouncer's at as well. Time is going to go immediately to that side door. Um, gesture for Lucian and Linda to follow. See if we can't circle around to the back. Okay. Who's going with you, Tommy? Sorry. Uh, whoever wants to. I don't know. If you guys think you can get through with Winston, go with him. But... I, uh, I have very little confidence in the stealth of Lucian. All right, then Lucian yeah, I'll, go, I'll go with Tommy. Okay. okay. You guys go so, around. Yeah. Give me give me stealth rolls from you two uh, as you kind of act, you know, what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Okay. So you, you do well in uh, acting like you know what you're supposed to be doing and find that side door, get around. Um, now give me, uh, give me notice checks to, to hopefully find a, a route back to where you're, you're going. I'm going to Benny that. Tell me something. All right. So you look, uh, you find a hallway that does go in that back direction and that splits off again. And, uh, you get into a, you're definitely in kind of the back side of the casino here in the back stage. Definitely not decorated, cement walls, kind of thing like that. Um, but you see uh, some markings that tell you backstage and you know the direction to be going. Lucin and Agent Winston, uh, you guys are, what are you guys doing again? Um, oh, Lu go. Lucian was coming with us, I thought. Uh, was he? Oh, maybe not. Were you going not around if we're... Not, not if we need to be sneaky about it. Yeah. thought that's what... Okay, my bad. Yep. Yeah. So you two, what are you guys doing? Um, I'm going to go up to the uh, the bouncer with my uh, my badge out and just, um, and just show my badge and say, uh, Agent, uh, Agent Smith, FBI, I need to get backstage to set up a perimeter for security. Kind of leans in, arms crossed, big guy. This is Agent Harrison just told us that uh, things are all set and said nobody else needs to come back here. I'm gonna have to check with him unless uh, you've got uh, some upper clearance. Well, I can ask him right now. Hold on one moment. Of course, he's not pushing the talk button. Uh, Agent Harrison, this is uh, Agent Smith trying to get backstage you requested. Um, you still need my assistance, correct? Acknowledged. I will uh, let the... Uh... What's, your, what, what's your name, sir? Talk to the bouncer. <laughs> this is... Uh... Just tell him, uh, big guy. The big guy? Big guy. Big guy. Creative. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll let Mr. Uh, Mr. Guy, uh, know and thank you for his, uh, service to his country. 
Give me a uh, performance check. Take the first one. Take the first one, I guess. Still a success. Okay. <laughs> He's hesitant at first, but uh, I... Does, uh... Alright, well... I don't even know what uh, what all you all are doing here anyway. Uh, we weren't told about this, but... Just don't cause any ruckus. And he steps aside and allows you to pass. Lucien, where, uh, what are yeah. you up to? Uh, uh, Lucian's gonna. This is a problem of being a support character. <laughs> uh, he is going to just uh, keep watch of um, just over the crowd. Yeah, see okay. if uh, if any of the other agents are being notified of anything. Okay. Um, or where they will be going if they are. Yep. What you see right now is is just the concert going on. Um, the intermission, the, the band that's up there, the opening act is is finishing up. Things are kind of changing. Uh, the crowd's just kind of hanging out. There's some uh, interlude music going on. And, um, you know, you, you see security. You don't see any other agents, but you see security uh, for the concert. They're wearing, like, bright fl fluorescent shirts. Uh, just standing on the perimeter and whatnot, keeping an eye on it. So, uh, Winston, you're probably going to be first to get back there um, as uh, Linda and Tommy are coming around making their way in. And you come in and you see um, a backstage area. It's a little bit of a lounge area. And uh, as you come around, you notice there's like some couches and whatnot. And you pick out uh, a handful of individuals. You see... Uh, you do see Mario there, kind of to himself at the end of a couch. Um, and then in another couch is a is that uh, long brown-haired individual, the agent Harrison, uh, you assume, in the coat. And uh, is leaning over, um, uh, leaning over a coffee table uh, to the other couch where you see uh, a, f a gentleman in um, an open uh, shirt with gold chain heavy uh, gold-rimmed glasses, slicked hair uh, as well. Um, and then next to him is uh, fe the female Coco in a sparkly, wavy dress that's just kind of hanging out. And standing behind the couches uh, are the two guys in togas uh, with just kind of looking over as well. Um, give me a quick notice check. You see, I guess, um, you see on the table uh, a, a large, like, suitcase. Or, sorry, let's go with duffel bag, yeah. Okay. Tommy and Linda, you guys probably are going to, um, you know, show up here pretty soon as well. And, uh... You know, coming from a distance, seeing uh, a lot of the similar. Oh boy, do we don't see? Uh... Um, shit. What's the name of the guy we're looking for? God damn Mario. It. He's there. Mario. Yeah, he he's is there. there. Yep. Okay, he is there. He's kind of okay. sitting on the end of the couch, kind of keeping to himself. So Agent Harrison, you can overhear him leaning in and, and talking to this other individual on the other side. This is, this is some good stuff. This is the best stuff. My connections allow me to get this good stuff. It's clean, it's fresh, it's pure. Whether you want to keep it yourself or push it again, this is good stuff here. And the gentleman he's talking to on the other end. He takes, you see him take a uh, look, open up the bag and take a knife and jab it into it, pull it out and then uh, lick the end of the, uh, the knife. And how do I know that 
working with the feds not going to bite me in the ass. This, uh, how can I trust you? And Agent Harrison opens his arms. He says, Grigory, come on, you know. We've worked together before. There's been many of these opportunities in the past. I'm good for it. I'm good for it now. We know you're looking for this. I'm happy to be a supplier. Do we know what was in the truck? Uh, from earlier, um, no, I don't. I don't think it specifies now. Okay. So you're here witnessing essentially this drug deal uh, between the agent and a is man that, named Grigory. Is that an Italian accent or what accent is that? Uh, Russian. Russian. Okay, yeah. that makes me feel better. Did the uh, did the big toga guy seem to be with the Russian or with uh, Harrison? Yeah, they they look to be of yeah. Hmm. Winston's strongly contemplating the FBI. This is a bust to get them to turn on each other. Plan. <laughs> How close were me and Tommy? You guys are just coming in as well to see. Okay. Just walking in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's our game plan here? I mean, are we just taking him out, taking care of business, or are we just gotta get him what? away from the... get him out of here? I mean, I'm just gonna. Oh shit! Okay, this is 2006. Do cell phones have cameras yet? Um, I mean, probably. Okay, I'm just gonna... I don't know how far away we are. I'm gonna just gonna take a few photos of Agent Harrison there uh, with the uh, co the duffel bag of cocaine in front of him. Okay. Give me with a... a supposed so I want... Russian give me, at this point, boss. give me... Um, Tommy, Linda, and Winston. Give me stealth checks. Okay. Oh, I'm Benny in that. God damn it. Come on! We get a plus one to this too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So mine's a 10. As you are sitting there observing the uh, observing this transaction, and not see Mario kind of looking around at the end of the couch, and he looks up in your direction, Winston, kind of squints and says, "Winston." And you almost, you realize that he like catches himself, and everyone else in the room is just instantly like, "What? Somebody else is here!" And immediately, everyone hands to their waist, going to their weapons, uh, looking around the room. Um, unfortunately. Did I get it? Did I get a chance to take those pictures? I uh, I will say that yes, you do get okay. uh, a couple of shots. I'm gonna uh, send those. I'm gonna just quick text those to Lucian. Okay. <laughs> so Lucian, you get a couple uh, images right now of uh, this. You assume this this agent uh, doing a drug deal essentially. Um. Using that information in any way at this point? All the rest of you. Uh, I'll I'll just I'll just have to... like texted him really quick. Like just hold on to this for me. <laughs> and then I will delete the text messages. <laughs> Flip. 
but keep the pictures. Oh yeah. All right, what's the rest of you guys doing? So, the, so they're starting to look around for us? They, they, they'll see you now. Now that you've been picked up, you guys have been caught in the shadows of okay. the room. Uh, yeah. So. They're still going for their guns? They are, yep. They've stood up, guns drawn, all wondering what is going down. I'll, well, I mean, I'm not going to go to go into a gunfight empty-handed. I don't... I'm just going to... I'm going to draw and then also, uh, like, all right, let's all take a breath here. Um, take it easy. No one needs to get shot right away. Let's talk this out. Uh, so while, while Tommy's doing that, I will have, um, as SB is still in stealth mode, I uh, have dropped my scarf on the ground. And... While I was doing that, I also could put my hands up by my headpiece that I have on now as I was here for the festival. Um, just like, I'm not supposed to be here. I think I went to the wrong backstage. I just have my hands up, but they're going to just be hovering up here because that just happens to be where my Glock is right now. Okay. In the <laughs> Amazing. And uh, the goons just pull up their weapons, standing there in their togas, looking hilarious. Uh, and Agent Harrison stands up. Wait, 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 where did they, where, where were they keeping these guns? <laughs> you don't want to know exactly. that. You don't want to know. <laughs> Mar Mario just kind of huddles against the couch because he's like, oh shit, what's going on? And uh, Grigory is just like, are these men with you? Agent Harrison, you did this? You, you brought these men here? This is you, didn't you? You did this. And Harrison's uh, just like, no. No, I don't. I don't know who this is. And he goes and he he raises his weapon at you guys as well. So I don't know who you are, or what the problems you're causing. Mario, you know who these people are. Mario just kind of shakes his head, uh, very scared. Now, see, we're here for Mario. Didn't expect the FBI to be doing a big drug deal with the Russian mob, but, uh, it's Vegas. So, uh, I'll, like, hold up the photos on my phone. It's like, I won't send this to your bosses, and you'll let us walk out of here with Mario. How's that sound? <laughs> Mario, Mario kind of, like looks almost like you know nodding ahead but all at the same time like ah you, you are you are definitely uh pretty ballsy right now and um you see the agent looking around the room kind of sizing up everyone here and um poco runs off uh grigory uh as well is kind of inching backwards a little bit um and uh agent harrison just says I have control over uh, where those where those photos go. You can't you can't do anything on me. You should see what I have on you. I on know who me? you are. Oh, you don't have anything on me, Tommy Blue. You're here uh, working for Looney John, right? Just like uh, like our friend Mario here. It could be. Where'd you get the cocaine? Doesn't matter. What business is that to you? Lucian, uh, a little bit of time has passed. You haven't really heard anything. Anything you're doing at this point? Um, I'm going to... Um... Oh boy. Uh who has the who has the key card still? I think Tommy uh, would have. Tommy. Yeah, okay. still had it. I'm gonna go to the concierge and let them know that there is a suspicious uh a suspicious bag at the concert. Okay. 
give me a um, give me a persuasion check. You run run out of the concert hall, run to the concierge and tell them. Are you are you certain? What? Uh, where did you see this? What is it? Is there an individual with it? No, no individual. That, uh, I would be less suspicious if there if there was an individual with it. But uh, I know it's closer to the stage, um, out by the uh, what I assume to be the um, the backstage door. I will I'll call security in right away, and uh, we'll, we'll get it taken care of. Uh, with everything going on today, uh, you know, sometimes you get some crazies. Thank you. They immediately pick it. up pick up the phone, and and you hear him call into uh, security and whatnot. We have uh, we have a report of a suspicious bag inside the concert venue. We need to uh, get that locked down. Hangs up the phone. Uh, there is. Um, as you, if you head back over, you see a barrage of, uh, of security guards, um, beginning to rush into the concert hall and, uh, lights, the main house lights turn on and the crowd is kind of like, Oh, what's going on? And then the guard, everyone comes in and yells out to everyone. Attention everyone. We need to evacuate immediately. And then there's chaos and everyone starts erupting. Everyone in the back behind stage, uh, you guys can hear this clearly. You hear the eruption of the crowd. Um, the, the music is still kind of going there, um, the ambient music, but uh, it draws everyone's attention away for a second as uh, you hear the loud crowd and the shouting from uh, the main area of the concert hall. Looks like the concert's over. And Gregory turns to Agent Harrison and says, I told you again, what, what is going on? This has gone sour, Harrison. This deal is off. And he turns to the rest of you and says, I have no quarrel with you. I will be leaving. And you can leave as well without any interference from me. Yeah, and he turns, we gotta take our friend with us. He turns to his goons and uh, he says, uh, keep an eye while we head out, but then we leave. And they slowly back away. The goons with their weapons trained on all of you. And eventually uh, they kind of slip out uh, backstage and disappear. You are left with uh, Harrison and Mario there um, who realize that Things have turned. They are, they are now a little bit outnumbered. And Harrison doubles down and says, You won't get away with this. Yeah. How, how far away is he from where me and Tommy came in? Um, I mean, you you guys at this point have probably moved in pretty close to him. They so kind of advanced into the room. Okay, you got while, Aspie coming in? While, while the, uh, the goons were leaving, uh, my scarf somehow made its way closer to uh, Agent Harrison. <laughs> okay. That's why I'm talking. I'm just waiting for the snake to bite this motherfucker. <laughs> Give me a stealth roll with Aspie. Don't fail me now, snake. E. Yeah. Okay. All right. Aspie successfully slithers up uh, behind the couch uh, and goes underneath the couch where they're where he's sitting. And uh, it's kind of lying in wait currently. Um, are you gonna have him strike out? Yeah. So while, so I look down and I see that once I see look at uh, Aspie's close. I look over at Tommy and I say, uh, "Mister, I think I've gone in the wrong area. Is this now a good time to get out?" And a, a little nod to him. Ah, uh, well, you might want to take all your stuff with you, but yeah, this is probably a good time to get out. Oh, that's right. Where did I leave that dang scarf? And ciao. Okay, so I will give you the drop because of the stealth. So that gives you plus four. Is that under trait? Actually, on your or... on your card, just hit the drop on the roll card. Oh, drop. Okay, and then while attack. If plus six. If you want, you can. Yeah, just click them both so they're 
on. Oh man. Yeah, this is gonna hit. As you kind of call out, where is that scarf? And then there's just this, uh, you guys see the snake um, with speed you didn't even realize, like kind of come up and just latch on to uh, Harrison's calf as he lets out this loud cry. What the? And Mario jumps up as well. Uh, go ahead, roll that raise damage. Yeah, uh, that is toughness five. That's definitely a hit and a um, five from 14 is nine. That's two raises, two wounds. Okay, so he massive, it hurts him massively. And uh, then agent, you see him uh, fall over uh, as the poison from the snake takes hold. He is knocked out. Mario's just like, what? What are you guys doing? This is a... This is gonna be so much trouble. I... I, I, I didn't know. I, they got... They caught me. I didn't know what to do. What did you tell them, I'm not, Mario? I didn't tell him nothing. I, I promise. I didn't tell him nothing. Please. He gets down on his knees and he starts begging. Says, please, please. Please. Please tell Looney John I didn't mean no harm. Well, you could tell him yourself. Yeah. It was all a setup. Yeah, you can tell him yourself. We're going back. If we kill you, I'm not going to kill you here. So let's go. Get on get on your feet. I'm Slowly. St go ahead. I was going to ask you, like, what's, uh, what's your arrangement here with uh, Agent Harrison? As I said, uh, I, I, it was just a setup. They caught me and they told me they're going to take me in and... And, uh, I, I just, I, for some reason, he wanted to bring me along. He said it was part of the, part of the process. I, I don't know. Do I believe him? Give me a notice check. Nah, I'm gonna, my last Benny. There we go. I Benny knocked that over in a six. You see that? Yeah, it did. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about it. I, uh, you. He. Mario's not a good liar. I. Uh, definitely seems that there's, uh. Some falsity to his statements. Mm hmm. Okay. So I will. I'll make a big show of like putting away my gun and I'll reach into the other pocket, pull out the brass knuckles and make a big show of putting them on. <sighs> what aren't you telling me, Mario? Something you're holding back. You can either tell me now or you can tell me through a few less teeth. Give me an um, intimidation. Hey. Okay. Uh, please, please tell me. You know me. Come on. I, uh, I just, I just got caught up in the wrong crowd. That's all. They just told me I either had to work with them, or I was in trouble. So I just, I did what I had to do to survive. You know how that is. Please. What did you tell them? I just. Okay, they, they knew about the job, but they had That's, caught me beforehand. They caught you before the job. They caught up to me and made me spill it. That's why they were waiting there. All right. What else did you tell them? Well, it sounded like uh, they knew about us. They knew your name, Tommy. Yep. I mean, that's that's all I told them. I know Harrison talked up that that he had good he had the goods on all of us Looney John and everyone and said said I was gonna help him take him down I didn't want to 
Oh. See. Mario. Mario's not a made man, is he? I don't think so. Okay. Mario. <sighs> if it wouldn't be more difficult to get you out to the casino with blood all over your face, I'd hit you right now. But we're going to have to save that for later. Uh, thank you, Tommy. Thank you. Oh, uh, don't thank me. You're not going to like this. I was and when Tommy of... says that, I walk over and reach down and let Aspie slither up over my shoulder. And then we just stare there looking down. <sighs> because, Mario, you're a witness. You named, you gave him our names? Kind of seems that way. Amidst the chaos, um, you guys hear still everyone uh, in the um, main theater rushing around. Uh, Lucian, as you come back, you'd see that um, it, they're working the crowd out. They have uh, security all over the place. Um, and some of them you see are working to get their way to backstage. They come in directly uh, I'm gonna, up. I'm going to shoot Tommy a quick text. And it's like, you got to get out of there now. Got security on the way. Okay, so we're going to go out the back. Um, really quick, though, I'm going to take the brick that uh, uh, Grigori stabbed, and I'm just going to shake it out all over... Um, Agent Harrison? Uh, Agent Harrison. Okay. And I'm going to lay it next to him. Okay. And uh, I am going to... Okay, I'm going to clean up any trace of us being there as okay. we uh, go out the back. And I guess at this point, do we want to end? Are we assuming Mario's going to go with us willingly or? He, you th he is, yeah. He is, he okay. Is, yeah. okay. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to okay. escort him. Give me, give me a healing roll for a cleanup. Nice. Yeah, you feel confident that uh, you've taken care of any traces of yourselves, left the, the scene. Uh, there'll, there'll be signs of other people there, Coco, Grigory, and the goons, but you're only worried specifically about yourselves, so it's fine. Uh, you slip out the back and uh, begin taking uh, Mario around with you. Eventually, uh, finding your way into the main normal halls, and uh, you know from there, you can meet up with Lucian and head out from here. Um, any anything else? Or you guys just kind of basically heading back to your uh, to your warehouse. Um, I think this. I think I never uh, activated the other scene for you guys. <laughs> oh no. Um, I think, uh, hey, Lucian, do you know anybody uh, inside the casino that can maybe wipe some uh, security footage for us? Oh, let me see. Do I? Okay, so how do favors work? Oh, the, and I didn't. I there's a whole thing for that, um, a whole mechanic. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, but we'll just as we're wrapping up here, uh, go ahead and describe kind of what what you envision that to be. Um, got a. Uh... Got a guy who works um, works one of the tables, and uh, he he's a uh, pretty adept at um, getting getting in and out, sleight of hand, and all that. And so he might might be be able to. Uh, Oh, wipe some wipe some footage of a particular hotel floor um, for a price, of course. I'll okay. slip him the five hundred that I earned. All right. So you know, uh, Lucian can be pretty reliable with his network, his connections that he has. Um, you're all comfortable that from the inside, taking care of uh, those additional traces of, of you all being around in the casino and on the twenty first floor. The incidents that happened up that way as well. 
you're able to slip out and get out of the casino uh, amidst this chaos of the crowd because of this uh you know suspicious bag that was called in security um rushing around lots of chaos you're able to slip through that get out to the main street uh, out front of the casino in with the rest of the crowds and uh you know head out uh, heading towards uh, your your hideout i assume uh with yeah. uh, with mario in tow uh you get back to that and um the you get back to your hideout and uh good old looney john is there waiting uh at the bar enjoying himself uh, a drink and a cigar well, well, took your sweet time, boys. Mario. Good to see you again, my friends. Mario just super sheepishly head hung. He says, Hey, boss. Uh, really appreciate the guys coming after me. I uh, really kind of caught myself up in a bind. Hey, Mario. I'll like, like wait until he turns and looks at me. And then I'll just hit him in the face. Yeah, he kind of turns around and is like, huh, what? <laughs> give me uh, give me a, a roll for that fighting roll. <laughs> okay. I'll say that's definitely a hit. So go to roll regular damage. Oh, shoot. I didn't. Oh, would you have anything extra on that? No, no. Okay, fighting same, but for damage. Okay. You clock him hard, and he he uh, stutters a little bit and, and leans over uh, in pain. You hit him in the face. Yeah, I hit him in the Immediately, face. Immediately, you know, nose starts bleeding. He's... Uh, Tommy. That, <clears throat> that is for getting picked up, telling the cops about the job, and making us go through a car chase that we barely got away from. There may be more to follow. Depends on how sweet you talk. Now, tell your bot, tell the boss what you told me. Looney John steps up from the bar, slides out, and says, "Tommy, you're much too forgiven, much too too much patience. Take care of this scum." And he just walks out of the bar. Mario on his knees. Please, boss, no. Please. Please, boss. And you stand around Tommy, or stand around Mario, as uh, Looney John leaves out the back. Door closes. And scene fades to black as Mario's last whimpers and words cry out as he regrets his poor decisions over the last few days. His membership to the Continental has been revoked. <laughs> I was literally just gonna say, I was like, are we gonna like execution style all four of us, pull our guns out? Of us? <laughs> hey, I, you know, <laughs> it's up nothing to but you guys. Dog, Mario. We don't need to waste bullets, they're, they're not free. They're not that expensive, I mean. Yeah, but they're not free. One or two yeah. for us. Hey, you don't get to you don't get to move up. You don't get stained on the carpet. Frugal. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need to destroy it. Just one bullet will do. Who? I don't care. Someone do it. So that'll wrap us up, guys. Uh, good stuff. Very good all around. Um, that was good fun. An amazing setting. Uh, this is definitely be a fun one to to pick up and go. Uh, you know, like SB a long time. MVP. Yeah, Aspie had uh, some yeah, good moves sure. there. That was good. <laughs> so, hope you guys all had a good time. Definitely a good time on my end as well. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, uh, it was fun. Appreciate it as well. Uh, to all our viewers uh, out there, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, over the stream, we uh, grabbed $75 in donations from a few people. Thank you for that. So, we're trucking along, which is awesome. And... Um, be back here at 7 p.m. Eastern time for some good old traditional Dungeons and Dragons. Looking forward to that one as well to keep this going. So uh, everyone uh, watching us, thank you. We'll see you then. And uh, everyone... Oh, I didn't make a uh, next time screen, but that's fine. We'll do this. See you guys all next time. Exactly.